a kid and you know I be on the way. Welcome back to the Coliseum, presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. Man on a mission, I'm a kid and you know I be on the way. Yeah, it's all hard, ain't no fear here. You ain't giving this to all you steer clear. Never beat, I've been down and I reappear. You got some money on the line, you better put it here. Rolling in and doing that work. Check priorities, I'm doing that first. Them checks big and I'm sure that that hurts. But it's checkmate, we ain't selling short, no the work. Ain't nowhere to hide. You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind. What's going on, everyone? To the oh, sorry, welcome everyone. Redo that intro. Nope, I'm redoing it. I fucked it up already. Redo the intro. Okay, not all ten. What's going on, and welcome to the Coliseum finale, everyone. Sorry, we had a little bit of a mic issue in the 10 seconds before going live, and you guys know how it goes here. These productions, you truly never know, but welcome to the Coliseum season number six finale. It has all led to this eight weeks of Mortal Kombat competitions across a multitude of patches in this game. I've looked at this moment right here, eight players, one bracket, a lot of money on the line, and you guys are here to witness it live. I am your host and founder of the Coliseum, Mr. Aqua, the wet one, and here's my co-host over here. There's going to be none other, none other than Tento. Tento, how are you doing tonight? Hopefully the mic is, uh... You know, we're going to pray for the mic because apparently my voice is just too powerful at times. And I don't know what happened to it, but we're going to figure this out eventually. If anybody knows how to work Discord, please let me know because I am terrible with technology. But us... Uh, said this is going to be the season finale of c6 for the coliseum we're going to crown our first champion for mk1 and it's going to the, it, just... it, right at the end there tento we got a little issue so sorry about that guys tento may cut in here and out a couple of times to start the broadcast but we are working on fixing that particular issue for this finale but other than that it's going to be some wonderful action here let's take a look at the bracket let's jump right into the action this is what you guys are going to see tonight from top to bottom it's a double elimination bracket with as i said and alluded to earlier over a thousand dollars on the line I'll, we'll pull up the prize pool below the bracket for you here live and see just how much is on the line right now eleven hundred and forty five dollars oh my and that is only because of you guys, the viewers, that have been contributing all season long over those eight weeks. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart, the team here's heart, and I, and I know that these players' hearts who are playing for it here today. Look at that bracket. Woo! Bracket looks incredible. Our finalists are Shuletta, El Kukui, Get Rectio, Gexy Dog, The Mighty Unjust, Ludi, Bandinos and Hourglass of Rain. Each one of them won an entire tournament to be where they are in this finale, guys. Welcome. This is the Coliseum, and this is competitive Mortal Kombat. If you're watching this live, you are probably at the tail end of what has been a crazy roller coaster of competitive Mortal Kombat this weekend, Tento. We've had uh, four pro competition qualifiers, four final combat, uh, two Coliseum events now. Um, a Rips Arena finale was this weekend as well. Yes. It's a good time to be playing the game. It's honestly a great time to be playing the game. Big shout out to VGY who had just took out EU West over Connie Mani and is going to secure himself into Final Combat as well. Big, up, big ups. It's actually been incredible. Just so much um, MK action going on. And Final Combat heating up is definitely the time to practice because, and Combat Break is right on the horizon too because Aqua, they was talking about it. The nitty gritty when it comes to the points, the point system that's going on, like it's, some of these players are going to be rooting for someone that you can be like, why are they rooting for them? Like, oh, you realize they're like right there in points. It's going to knock somebody down so they can make it into the final combat. Remember, only top nine people in the point system for um, the pro competition makes it to my, uh, final combat. So uh, it's going to be um, kind of troublesome, bro. It's going to be kind of troublesome. Yeah, and overall, right now, eight players have secured their position in final combat. That is Brosif from Latin America North, Nicolas from Latin America South, I Scorpion from Mexico, Zeus from Brazil, uh, Faisal from Middle East, Souls Clue from Oceanic, which was a huge win last night, 
and VGY and Makaron this morning. You're going to see all of those players, guys, here in just a few months playing for $200,000 at the World Finals called Final Combat for this game. That is insane to even think about. Absolutely so many insane. regions represented from around the world, and we know that multiple are going to make it in, it looks like, from the Middle East, potentially from Oceanic, if Waz is to travel there. So many timelines that can be explored in the world uh, tour of this game. But this is the Coliseum tonight, guys. That's what's going on on a little bit of a larger scale. <clears throat> and invites are out for this first game. Let's go ahead and not waste these guys' time any longer. And once again, guys, if you have heard so, we are doing the donation is actually still up for the prize pool. You can do exclamation point donate, exclamation point match reno at any time, and you can help out the players. We're currently at $1,145. You know, it would look really nice for you to get to $1,500. You guys make that happen. He could hear you talking shit. Yeah, I already muted it. I saw the mic light up immediately. <laughs> yeah, Solita, uh, Solita, um, you know, like, um, Bang Gap nerf. Who do you play now? That is a big question because Shuleta, when he won his week of the Coliseum, it was a completely different character in team. It was uh, Raiden Kano with the max chip possible, max frame advantage possible. And so now, with the slap on the wrist that the, that the main hero got, Tento, in the last patch. And that last patch, if you guys don't know, I'll actually put a link to it in the chat once I show off just how big it was. Look how big this patch was. Pages On the papers. He got an essay. And, and pages of what you guys are going to see also on display tonight. All these changes to the game that just hit on Tuesday, Tento. Yeah. A massive balance patch. A new character in the game, Ermac. And my oh my, has it been a spicy week for competitive Mortal Kombat. Absolutely insane. But even with the changes, we've seen the characters and the cameos that have gotten the biggest slaps on the wrists, wrists since the beginning of the game. We've still been seeing them. In, in all the regional qualifiers this week, it was insane how much Cyrax I was seeing, how much Striker I was seeing, how much Goro I'm seeing. Speaking of Goro, we Jesus just Christ, seen Goro's this still here. We just here. saw this matchup. A couple of minutes ago on the EU uh, broadcast, Tento, we were watching this while warming up for the Coliseum. This is no Poking the special goes burr, okay? Poke special armor, cameo, burr. Round one. It's five five ass matchup. So that's gonna answer our question here. Where does where does Shuleta go with the changes to Raiden? He goes right to Kung Lao Gora. And the oh big my gosh, the parry! He just knew. Already inside his mind. But you know, that is the biggest weakness of Kung Lao Goro, that it is very one-dimensional, right? It's all about the train that is armor special. Goro lift. And even though you're ready for it, you gotta be ready for when it comes. And when it comes could be any time ever. And that's what makes it a mind game, even to the best of us. Look at Jimmy right there going for the super plus. Oh my god, the guy think the man doesn't care. Waited for the armor this time around, but guess what? Goro makes it plus. Antis? Oh yes, we do. And just wait to bait it out once more. Oh no, that's going to be punished. No, he didn't get. Oh, what the hell just happened? That was so weird. Why did he get the punish after the Shaolin Shimmy? I don't get it. Might be the nerves. Oh, what might be coming into play too is the fact that Shleta hasn't played it in Coliseum in a long time. It was win and get in, and he won the very first week, the first qualifier that we held. So he hasn't played for like four months here in the Coliseum. Oh my god. Oh. Meanwhile, that El Kakui won yesterday to get the spot. The number one person who won. Yep. The first person who won who was the last person who won. It's great to see. I thought Thor was coming out with a guess you need to tell. She left it not holding the block button and Sean is gonna die for it. Chip is a big issue and a 4-2 is gonna do it. Final One of those active advancing mids that you can have as well. Looks like we may be... Oh, I think I got oh. cooked too. Nope. Oh. Wrong oh, we good. Wrong good. Mm, okay. I don't know who uh, we'll pretend know, that the router. 
to pretend that didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. Away, we'll turn a blind eye. Gosh, can't turn a blind eye with this man. Girl doing a beatdown. Jesus. I want someone to use that brutality in a tournament. <laughs> Oh, he Again. went max pressure there. Broke the armor with the 1-2 as well. Oh, got him. Shimmy, but then go for it. He didn't go for head instead. He just went for safety. Oh, I thought that was about the combo. I was about to lose it. What's hard to deal with about Tanya's armor is that it's hard to break. And that's what made, really surprised me there with the 1-2 of Kung Lao is that she usually low profiles most highs. They're going to break the situation and Goro. Oh, my God. He almost got so much. Get those intentional or not, but love seeing a girl snipe. Get the back though, fast as a slow. Other side, not getting Jimmy and Shaletta. The duck into Fatal Blow should do. Why? Why? Why didn't you? Why did you go to Fatal? You, you, you won. You legit won. Why did you do such? A why did you do it? Finish him. I guess to get us started. That's. What the hell did he just do? Why did he go for down two instead of fatal blow? He could have had the game, but yet he just... He choked. Did he have two bars of meter? Was no, he, he to legit choked. He tried to d down two KB, man. I man? guess that's a... Uh... I, I, can't, I have no words what just happened. Input error? The worst type of input error, my guy. Oh, Aqua. Conf uh, we, we found a secret brutality. Yes. Everyone in the game, too. Up to Tell them. So, guys, if you do a back throw to kill someone and you press up and two, you just throw them towards the TV screen. It's hilarious. Someone needs to do it because no one did it in the pro comp. Competitors that can hear my voice. I command thee. Do the new brutality. The fact that everyone has that. Is it everyone's forward throws or everyone's back throw? I think it's everyone's back throw. Yeah, because that's because everyone, yeah, everyone, everyone has their universal back throw, but the uh, fourth throw is everyone's cameo. Oh, that's a punish. How scary is that going to be tonight, though? Now that we've called it out, how many people are going to micro duck it in the round? Oh, gets the parry, but doesn't go for the push. And just does it again. Why? Because he got the bar to spin. Hey, 298. Oh, she glowing, though. Oh, yes, look, she really glowing now. You gotta be careful. Gets the stand three, that should be it. The toy. Optimization station. And what's crazy is, is the jump back was intended for him to do exactly what he got hit by, which was to jump back and react. Meanwhile, thinking he was safe out of the range of Tanya, when she's got her buff active, you aren't safe from three quarter screen. Not from that way. Koi's parries have really been on deck when they've been calling out the armor. Oh my god, man. <laughs> it might be like a buttons, apparently. Your skill. Oh, Indeed. Goes, just it. Once again. That's plus, my guy. Did you not know? Oh my, bro. Please don't push him away. What are you supposed to do? High right, success right on parry we've seen from Atanya thus far in the Coliseum. But Shaletta, gonna get a big strike here. Make ah. a dance. Boom! Going for and going for lots of damage. It's going to be up to 500. However, the problem is you have no meter on your side. This toy has all the meter he can. Please don't. Coming up a lot of meter right there. Trying to get ahead with, with those EX shots of Tony's, which will absorb projectile as well. Trying to end the parry read and got him with a raw spin. Whoa, whoa, no. Whoa, whoa. What's happening to this controller? Is he dancing? The spin into, really into the bags? Into you don't get more disrespectful than that. That's how you get a message in combat league. There was a little bit of smack talk against certain. I'm just gonna give it away against certain players in this in this finale as to just how down. they were going to perform without a certain character. Read, 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 it, read it in check. What did Kokoi say in check? Just no. I mean, that's exactly what I was trying to dance around. Nah, I'm going to say it. He said, no rating, no problem. Mm. She let us say, and it would have been 1-1 one, one if his fingers worked. 
Well, when you, when you go about that problem, you say, um, whose fault is it? You gotta look inward right there. You gotta clean up your execution, my guy. You gotta, in the words of your own character, learn from this. Learn from this. Danya, Goro. Goro. You may be, you may be many, but I am the one. Mm -hmm. You are not even Liu Kang's champion. I could have won the tournament just as easily. Yo, what's going on, Big Apple? Yeah. How y'all doing? Thanks Welcome Joshua to the Coliseum Jack. finale. Fight. Hope you guys have enjoyed the action so far this season. This is our sixth season of Mortal Kombat events that have been 8 to 12 Total weeks long, time. usually. Bro, Goro got smoked. Did you see that? By the legs. We got buffed up. I've watched Goro get smoked for 10 years, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty used to it. That boy is a jobber. You hate to see it. Remember how you got smoked in the movie? Man, you hate to, You really hate to see it in the movie. How you gonna... How's the... How's the prince of the Shokan? It's gonna get smoked in front of the... Get, Doghouse, man! In some backyard in the suburbs! I'm about a dude that didn't even know how to use his powers. That was the part that was funny. The man didn't even know how to fully use his powers. Don't even know what his arcana was. He got his body. power in the fight. He found out in the middle of the fight. Anyways, what I was gonna say was... Tanto, here's a crazy stat for you. No player has won back-to-back -back seasons of the Coliseum. Our season one victory back in Mortal Kombat 11, Kerbalicious, season two, Tweety, season three, Turkey, season four, Sinister Ruler. And back in season five, which was our first Mortal Kombat one season, it was the Mighty Unjust. So he is the only player currently with a chance to be back-to-back -back Coliseum season winners. Mighty Unjust could be the one. Wow, that's an amazing pressure on Unjust. Unjust, you gotta turn on the camera now, bro. In his way. A problem that exists in every Mortal Kombat community, Tento, is his, his own twin. Own damn twin. It be your own family when it comes down to it, don't it, ladies and gentlemen? Be the family that matters. But let it be known that it is difficult to dominate the Coliseum here. We attract the best, ladies and gentlemen, and we breed champions. Try to go for Shimmy, nothing afterwards. Big neutral jump. But wait a second, get your Shimmy afterwards. But however, you can't get hit by a stand three right now because you will die for it. Okay, buff is gone. You're fine, right? Yeah, you're fine. He wouldn't do random drill. Would he? Oh, you're dead. You're actually dead. You're actually dead. He's dead. He's dead. That's gonna be it. 3 0 Kakui steals another one from Shuleta. Can't blame the fingers on that one. Wrong place, wrong time. He pressed the button against armor, and that's going to be a GG. Shuleta will be sent down into the loser's bracket. This is going to be double elimination. We'll have a second chance. And showing no mercy whatsoever is El Kakui. Pull! Oh. Oh. Fatality. Sends a message. It says, that's for everyone that left a comment on the Coliseum saying nerf storm cell yep storm cell was nerfed we were just talking about how the game is going to be changed that, so much that was for all of, of you guys <laughs> for every single one of you el kakui is your champion tonight bro like it's crazy like we was just talking about how different the game is, is um from when we first started this uh season of the coliseum to now and definitely raiden got touched badly and unfortunately pause you, you know, I was gonna say it, but then I said, let me go past it. Now I gotta say, fool, did he? He got touched. But, like, anyway, mm. but, like, but like it, it's it honestly, it, it sucks for Raiden that he got body so badly. I don't care, honestly. But, Shaletta, unfortunately, isn't gonna be able to make it happen with the Kung Lao. Well, the second shot, like we talked about. Up next is gonna be Get Wrecked Yo versus Gexy Dog. Guys, welcome Ooh, to the Coliseum dope. Finals. Prize pool right now, nearing twelve hundred dollars, eleven eighty-five. Holy! So our prize pool is currently sitting at. If you guys would like to contribute to this prize pool, that, that these eight players, everyone in the finale is going to get paid, guys. Everyone. And if you'd like to, them to get paid a little bit more, contribute to the prize pool. I'll put the link in the chat. And it's pinned at the top.
players out here getting paid out and honestly just, just giving us a great time. But the next matchup, as Aqua just said, will be Get Wrecked versus Dexy Dog. Get Wrecked. Still rocking that Johnny. You know, Johnny's a very strong character, but we have two Molinas in this bracket, one of them being Dexy Dog. And Dexy, um, what I've been seeing, he's been doing a lot of Molina Serena, but as of recently, I saw the Molina with Chameleon. And Chameleon, if you guys do not know, has been blessing everyone with god awful mix. Like, what I mean, the mix that's is just so many layers, bro. Her, Melina ball roll armor breaks. Let me just leave it at that. People have been using that in absurd ways, too. Not just as an armor break, but in ways where they'll, like, use it in footsies because it goes so far in its first phase of spin that they'll just backdash into it and catch pokes and all sorts of other unholy things. We did have a, I, I, will, I will give a little hint to the chat. Um, someone, I'm not going to say who, but amongst the players here has said, is Ermac legal? And we told them yes. Oh, yeah. So, you don't know who's going to pull it out, but Ermac might um make an appearance. I'll leave it at that. I'll allude to it. We saw him a little bit on our final qualifier yesterday. Also saw some Peacemaker. And I expect some peace to be spread tonight, Tento. And I mean peace that. To be achieved. Like like butter over bread. Peace over a bracket. Because we got the twins. And both of them are known to take out the Glock. Actually, a Glock it's not even a Glock with it, but with that man. That that is a desert eagle. That's a deagle. That's a big old a, gun. He, he, bro, he got a deagle and an eagle. That's crazy, ain't it? That's a powerful man. Wow. Deagle with the eagle. I wonder if that's going to be the choice of Mighty Unjust as well, who won his week of the Coliseum, not with Peacemaker, not with any other characters that I kind of knew him for too, which was like Kenshi and a few others at the time, but he also was rocking Tanya Goro and even Reiko back then. Man. Which, which were the two characters and teams that his brother used yesterday in the qualifiers. There's some Tanya as of recently has been talked about where people might possibly assume that she's the best character in the game now because of the recent changes. And I will go to say that I, 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 I won't doubt that statement. I won't argue it. I can actually see it. She's definitely problematic. Great mid, great damage, great armor move, and girl can make a go burr. And but as well as uh, Tanya Chameleon has been a team I've also been seeing as lately, and she's got some great mix as well. Ooh, I got I got a crossplay input or uh air working on it. I just can't play. Oh he's in um yeah, get Rex said can you make it not crossplay? Yeah, let's all turn our crossplay off. So I'll turn cross play off since uh, since we're on PlayStation today. <laughs> All right. All right. So sorry about that. We're running this earlier as well, where it it appears that everyone needs to be on the same cross play setting in the new King of the Hills, mm. which may be something that we run into tonight. Someone's asking, how do you donate to the prize pool? It is pinned at the top of the chat, the Macharino link. And if you click that Macharino link, it'll take you to the prize pool. And in the top right hand corner, you can hit contribute and donate there. Thank you, Tinto. Tinto dropped it in there live as well. I try to be a good co-host at times when I can. When you can, all the time, Tinto. I appreciate that, man. Do you know how how much I rely on you carrying the show? Nah. <laughs> Let me just crack jokes here and there. I got a great team to work with, you know? It's a team that matters. 
I just want to give two, pers two personal huge shout outs to Kenneth and V Elder for being the ones to put in $40 already tonight into the prize pool for these players as we jump into the next match. We get some Molina on display. We get the Johnny from Get Wrecked who we haven't seen in a while. And he's rocking the new outfit with that Johnny too. That thing is mm, muy caliente. Bro, that lightning that effect. Mako. That Mako for real. Come on. What can you get with fan with you? Thought about that. That's a mink coat and a Thunderbird potion from Hogwarts right there. All in one. Yeah, I'm, I'm teared. I'm scared of it. Back oh. to the, the double Jade Glaive, and it's like, whoever's first wins that uh, trade from what I've been seeing so far. Mm -hmm. Push into the corner, like the down three. No throw quite yet. I would have got Simi right there. Nice flawless block, but wait, it's still more coming. Hey. Knocked down. 346. Another overhead. Oh, that you know what's beautiful about the um the another uh, another good old nerf that they gave Johnny. He does not have a six frame poke anymore. Cause before that, he used to get a guaranteed down one right there. Oh, wait a second. I mean, still. Mr. Predicti, they're trying to take his turn. Block in there. Blocks another Jade. Chip damage adding up. Gets him the first time. Mm. It was enough for the kill. And afterwards, after he saw that his stagger pressure Round failed. Two. What kind of a rapid fire armor right there? Panic, but boy, can that save you. Immediately Quickest armor reversal in the game, too. Yeah, bro, eight frames? Hello? That's fast. It's hell. You're not reacting to that. If you do, you lie. And these twos? It has to help in this mirror that they're... Oh, sorry, in this cameo mirror that their rotations are similar. Uh, so if you look at Dexy's chameleon... Um, if I'm Dexy, I'm looking to get Rex chameleon rotation and mine's or his appears to be slightly behind so if he sees his jade right now go to katana he knows that his katana is about to come up to the top left boom there's katana i, I feel like oh, that would help me in the mirror definitely would i like the staggers on deck oh there's a good over here right there but it's the breaker Jade is back around close to overhead but it whips oh that's gonna be so much damage Wait, no, he dropped it. Wait, what happened? Plus, plus. That's my favorite kind of pressure. Get wrecked. Every other Johnny says, I've only got this one string that's plus. No, he's got these other buttons as well. Mm -hmm. Get the big grab. But the problem is, it's 20 seconds left on the clock. You got a time to get the health down. He needs to access that fatal blow. He needs to access it now. That's for all the quick mm. damage. And no diamond going to be. Not going to matter. But he needed to take the risk. He definitely did. It's scary in this matchup, especially for Melina, because um, her down one, as, as as much good range as she has, it's minus 10. And Johnny can punish that with 4 3 if they're ready. Replay from that one, and there you see, because of the time and the health deficit, you kind of force yourself to take a risk right there, and the mind game behind that ball rope being. You know, that's not going to be potentially plus that, that chameleon from that distance. And so maybe he's trying to bait a button and roll it. Princesses aren't taught to kick ass. What a failure of imagination. And Dexy, who won a week of the Coliseum in, I would say, in my opinion, possibly the most impressive way this season out of anyone. Because he beat Hourglass of Rain, I think, the same week that Hourglass beat Sonic Fox in pro competition beat Hourglass of the Mirror in Grand Finals of the Coliseum. Melina Serena versus Melina Lau at the time. And then Dexy since then has, oh made, my the has made the switch to Chameleon and added uh -huh. all kinds of... All, all kinds of... All, 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 all. What's crazy is that... That's what that, he added. That, that, <laughs> did less. that combo would have did, uh, did less than the actual throw, but my gosh, that situation was so messed up, bro. But yeah, uh, I, I wonder if, if they do end up meeting in the bracket, I do wonder how... Um, you even call it how hourglass gonna handle that because he honest to goodness he'd be like yeah playing dexy is just like a, it's, it's a mental battle that's how patient dexy is yeah there it, it, it doesn't even become a, a matchup as far as anything on paper in the game it's more of a personal style oh he went for the lows he that can really get throw. to you lots of restand oh, too which I, Sorry, disrespect that hit advantage? That's plus 7,222. Yeah. Don't care about nothing. Overhead, it did not break the armor because Johnny's uh, shadow kick, as we said. 
a little too fast, okay? Wait a second, armors once again. Stabby, stab, stab, stab. Oh my god, that's so much. I think I've broken that thing once, man. Ever. <laughs> Pretty good armor. Goes for the low. But that forward looked like it was the last act of frame. No yeah, ball rolls probably yet. That's really smart oh. hold, though. By Dexy, only took the risk because he had the, the float. He gets the throw. That should kill, too. Mm -hmm. It's at least damage in one, but he did not have the health to take it. Dexy tied it up one to one. Melina wins. I said that one of the things that the Chameleons brought to this team and to Dexy has been a lot more firepower and grossness, which is why I do because some of the stuff makes me want to throw up. And that's what I also feel like this patch has done to the game. It's it's felt like it's really spiced it up. There's a lot of gross being discovered out there, Tento. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've experienced it firsthand from you. It's been painful. Tento's kind of tight about that back three, I think. I think that's That back three is really just like, brother. Everyone is. When you when you have that much hit advantage, that's, button. that's privilege. And so now I can actually say that I, that I am privileged in Mortal Kombat. Same word. I admit it. You just can't hold it against me, me now. Bro, just let me combo four one into EX up kick with Melina. I'll be fine. That's all I want. You can have a full screen low side, and that's it, man. That's it. Actually, no. Actually, make sure make the um the, the regular side of the EX actually one bar instead of two. Give me that as well. I'm gonna, that's not bad. Looks like she doesn't need a damn thing right now, though. She's eating this man alive. Definitely is. But you can call by the overhead. Gets conversion too. All the two one into the corner. It's big, Dammy. Throw? No, he doesn't. And, and I feel. Uh, I feel like her best cameos complement that low side to give her some true mix right. as yes. well. Fart. What, you can get what, a combo with low sides, it's crazy. Hey, hey, look up on this. The Sonic the Hedgehog. Man, it's terrifying. Shout out to Sonic. The armor through, he knew. High key? I can't wait. Bro, I need to watch the first two. So good. Oh, he got sniped. No way. He converted? Oh, I thought he was. What a weird like juggle it. state that puts you in on the double glow launch. Glow launch? Double glaive launch. Yeah, we understood. It's okay. I got the assignment. That reminds me of the one time I I, I called the, the glow the glow load back in MK11. <laughs> glow load. It still exists. Mm, this it does. Raise your hand in chat if you've, if you've ever loaded your glow in MK. Oh. This is almost worse. Gets out of there, the anti be a decent amount of damage. Knockdown. Goals for Did you press a button? Then he backs up, reads the phase, and that's gonna be Dexy Dog going up 2 1. Takes the head. Oh. Mm. In his own home? He's gonna fall into the pool. Oh, damn near. Oh, wait. He's oh. He, he's like halfway in the pool. Yeah, he's, he's halfway there. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, Melina is not that damn good. Holy. Golly. She's leaving no crumbs, but the thing is, it's like, bro, it's not that good, I promise. He can afford organic. I bet he tastes pretty good. Um, you know what? If he's not, been, you might not if, be if he's been, If he's been eating that Wagyu, I might. We might have ourselves a Hannibal Lecter situation going on here. It's a 2-1 lead for Dexy, who wants one more bite out of Get Wrecked to send him down in the loser's bracket. He's staring down the barrel. Of the man in charge of the hourglass, the man that created the timeline we live in. Would you ever have told and cracked us you are. is the outfit that matches the hero. No. Dang, that looks good. Round yo, look and at what, that. what happened to the price look pool? At that. What the yo? Holy Who shit. did it? Who is bad? Yo, business bats and bones. Yo, thank you guys thank so you. much. Cheers. What the hell? Okay, well, I'll just get my thoughts H ready. HD X Bones has been watching the replays. Glad to enjoy this one live. You caught the finale, man. The big one, the ender. Thank you so much for being here and supporting the Coliseum and these players with a $100 contribution. And business fat, 
Business, my man. You've been doing this for a long time. I actually got to meet Business Bat for the first time uh, in the last year. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for supporting the Coliseum. Your $300 contribution. That, Tento, you know what that means, right? Wait, that I means got, quite I, a few. It's, it's right here. It's legit right here. That means that we're going to be taking some shots, guys. Yeah, shots. The, 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 the Patron is right in my hand. Okay. It's here. I got a, I got a bottle, bottle of the Kraken ready. Are we doing Bro, it now? Business Bat. Yeah, I'll do it now. Business bad legit just came in, didn't even put a comment. He just get yeah, history on me. It's crazy, brother. Shadow supporters, oh, no. man. Absolute goats out there in the scene. Thank you. And to everyone that has contributed to that prize pool. Kenneth, business bat, double knives. All around $300 contributed total on the season. So many others, too. All right. Let's do... Is, is Tento a gun, Rick? Fight. Is he? Oh, there's that. I thought that was his chair. I couldn't see it that small. <laughs> I only saw the corner of his sleeve and it looked like a chair. Tento, you ready for a shot? Yeah, I'm ready for a shot. I apologize for that. Yeah, we'll get back to this match. ASAP, guys. Cheers. Thank you for all the all the contributions. Every $100 would like really to take a shot. So uh, we got quite a few shots to take. Let's start with one. Hope you're enjoying some awesome competitive energy. Cheers, homies. Much love, guys. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Oh, he starts yeah. up with that back, too. Oh, the 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Hey, I got some dragon right now. Him. I just got set on fire like Molina did in the corner on that bicycle kick. Man. Like Indian, eaten up by the 4-4 four four as well. One of the best mids to ever exist in all the realms. But he didn't follow up with the loud head. Gave Molina Another some respect armor. there. With a healthy like this. Oh I'm my god, no, 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 no. Oh, he missed it though. Goes for overhead, gets the glaive afterwards, the back dash, gets the overhead afterwards. He doesn't have the armor. Goes for mid. He doesn't armor back. It's plus. He charges it up. He cancels. I like it. I like it. Love the mentality. Still good though, right? To, to try to anti it with the, the special of Blue Kings. What can he do here? Maybe instant air fireball is the answer. To try to play the, the game with him here. Lock him down. Goes for side. He's just to playing the clock at this point. He can go overhead if he really wants to, but it's kind of scary. He goes with the armor. And that was a smart range to do exactly what he did, which is forward dash into it to close the gap and really try to secure it on block for the kill. Only, only needed two hits on block, it looks like. Gets the ball roll. Was that a good run? No way. That did combo. I don't see anything missing from that health bar. I didn't know that was a hit. It had that much hit advantage, but wait a second. Kung Lao the homie. Give him a little extra damage on that throw. Mind you guys, everyone tuning in. Man, I know that all of these guys won an entire tournament to get their spot here. They are no slouches whatsoever. Gorgeous reactionary ant there with the flying kick. Bro, what the hell do Luke can't be saying when he do a dragon? Oh, ain't yeah, yeah. He says, <laughs> Oh, wait, this damage, this damage, this damage, this damage is not okay. Wait a minute. Hey, hey. 440, goes for throw, but wait a second. Armor's right afterwards. Get wreck and get, get, get the kill if he finds a hit. Get wreck, could have got killed on that wake up alone. That's four. He knows he wants to <laughs> Yo, he gets over. He's gonna get the borrow. That's gonna do it, yo. Dexy dog. Three, one, over. Get wrecked with warrior. the fatality. Taking this man's head. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, like that? This, oh, one go. They do say oh. knowledge is power, Tinto. Yeah. And there's no quicker way to gain knowledge than to eat the brain <clears throat> of your of your adversary. That's facts. She had that kind of power. She took a brick to a straw. That's crazy. That's why. That's why Molina stands exist, my friend. You, you can't. can't about it. <laughs> <laughs> so here, let this one go back one more time, break. What this is just too smart and too good from Dexy because he covered so much with the ground hat and the uh, ex dragon kick here from the float over both know the timing on the Lao had to go beyond get the punish know the answer have a nice day that's a 3-1 victory Dexy dog that boy Dexy dog gonna secure his way into winners semifinals to go against El Kakoi but before we see that match we gotta continue on with round number one mighty unjust and Luddy. TGC's very own Luddy. gonna be going at it now these boys have been um gaming for quite a bit and the track record has always been, oh well, not necessarily always been, but um, can I would say 90% of the time. Can we find that end. tweet? 
Yeah, I was, you know exactly what we don't talk about with Kobe. Rest in peace to Kobe. No, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rip, rip the goat, but we need to find that image. <laughs> Unjust, do you have that image? Who has that image? Moody, we love you. I, I, I only show this hey. out of kindness and, and, and to try to build a story, I promise. Unjust it. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. But this is where it matters. So, you know, Luddy can step it up. You know, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. He might new, have a new cameo. He was on deck. He might He's have been, in hot. Just, he, he might he, have some study. He he seven. Did. That was his first right. big win in the Coliseum, too? Yeah. Good luck, guys. Because just I, I, I kind of want to show that because I'm actually pulling for Ludi. He is the underdog in this because of the stats. Uh, because of the stats, right? Oh, Luddy. crossplay, guys. You got to turn off crossplay, Luddy, please. Turn it off. Everyone in here is there's no crossplay available unless one of you guys spontaneously switch to PC. I don't know why you would, but yeah. Crossplay needs to be off. Aqua, I have my next shot part up if you want to catch up, but yeah. Yeah, let's do it. That first one was already kicking in, but screw it. Hey, you know? It's already poured. I started okay. saying good I started saying good things about Molina. I'm going right out of the bottom. <laughs> 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 Cheers, homies. God damn. <laughs> Cheers. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, that's spicy. Oh. Did I get reposado? <laughs> Ooh. Ray oh my god, this is reposado. <laughs> <laughs> are you, no are wonder. You okay? Are you okay, Zeto? Hell no, I'm not gonna be okay. Should we have uh should we have checked the bottle first? I definitely should have checked mines. Y'all about to get y'all about to receive a different type of beast. That's what that's this what we're hoping to, to that's what we're hoping to unleash here in the finale. And same thing with all these players. They want to unleash their inner beast, their inner James McElroy. Yeah, this this ain't <laughs> I just watched that movie. <laughs> Legit actually just watched that movie too. But um just go, yeah. You guys ain't gonna get tent anymore. You're gonna get tent. Jesus. Are we are we finally gonna get uh your cento? Man. Actually hey, that could be taken the way. <laughs> that could wait. Wait. Wait a wait a minute. Okay, I have to ask. I have to ask the live audience this: What are the chances that what are, what are the chances that Tento names names this thing Sento? <laughs> oh my God! I'm sorry. It's just like Sento because it's a sword. I'm just like, oh wait a minute, that could be taken, <laughs> could be taken quite literally. I oh my gosh. As long as it costs a whole cameo bar, I'm okay with it, honestly. Uh, cash out. <laughs> gotta cash out. Yeah, gotta cash out. The Cougar didn't want to cash out, though. Players are in. As you were talking about, this is a bit of a rivalry. And a match that Ludi has to personally, you know, it, it reminds me a little bit. You know, some people may be like, okay, not, not in name, but just follow me. Do you remember back when Dragon James lost to Sonic Fox like 13 times in a row before finally getting a W and then it turned everything around? It reminds me of something similar to that where so you can lose to someone so many times in a row, but all it takes is the one win in a big situation and everything changes. And that could be here. It could be Ludi's time. He could be Woody today. Put a W in front of that man's name. Is that for winning. the North? I'm thinking back on it now. You got to be thinking, was that the North when you uh, beat him with, um, when he was disrespected? I have no clue. Now. You should ask me about 10 minutes ago, man. <laughs> oh, wait. His chameleon, so the glaze's not coming back, but damn, stop that woman in the face. It's crazy. Back to script. Bro, snipe them? Okay, unjust. Right, we got the. We got. You got sub zero on that, though. 
And guys, you wonder, hey, why does um this man shoot this woman in the toe even though she has ice armor? Because it's a down three, even though it's technically a gunshot and a projectile, but it's still his down three. It counts as a poke, not a projectile. So, bullet normals should count as projectiles. That would, that would negate his down three, and this Prove, matchup would be. Prove me wrong, hey, Tento. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not on. I'm not on your side with that because that would make this matchup as for Peacemaker. Okay. Anybody with like a poke, like a poke uh, that's like a projectile normal. Oh, but mighty unjust. I don't think we've mentioned this stat either. God, that's, that's, it's, it's, it's the rod torpedoes that get get us every time. Uh, he. We know El Kakui has at least only one L that we could think of, but has the Mighty Unjust lost at all with this character since he's launched? Yeah, a oh brother. You know... Can, can, can anyone in chat answer that question? Has the can Mighty Unjust lost oh my God. a match with this character since he's come out? Was that three torpedoes that weren't blocked, bro? Mind you, he didn't have uh, Katana fan lift to keep those safe, by the way. He was just doing it. So like, someone said, fan lift was not there. Someone said E-Honda? Yeah, but unsafe. And he's still doing it. <laughs> Torpedo. Yeah, okay, and, while, um, while he has Katana, it's a mind game. But he still got it by three. Yeah, three, yeah, three of those headbutts. Yeah, Honda's headbutt is minus four in, MK, uh, in Street Fighter Six, But no, this Dumb one. Yeah. They really made that shit minus four. That is crazy. Dumb Torpedo. Torpedo. You want peace? I'm your man. <laughs> I find that highly implausible. Hey, Jonathan, shooters gotta shoot. I respect that. Buy some deal. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy man too. Keep shooting. It'll work. Gaining so much far for those, by the way. See the strength of Look how much meter he has. Behind the force field, the speed and recovery of both that and the blow dart that you see allow him to build so much of that meter and cover so much of the space actively, recover, be able to react. So if you've got the reactions, oh, it's just a, char a character built for oh you. And and the Mighty Unjust has some mighty reactions. Young, so comfortable in these situations. He's won a billion tournaments. One of the most active players in the entire community. I think that he... It will, yeah, hold on. Look, look at his character level in comparison to everyone else. And that will answer every every question that you ever have. Oh, yeah, this guy uh, he doesn't know what grass he is. Okay, Tento is level 122. I am level 141. Our producer's level zero. Play the game. Ludi, 134. <laughs> Love you, Rick. Mighty Unjust? <laughs> the Mighty Unjust level 265. 265. How do you get to that higher level in Mortal Kombat 1? Oh my god, the kick to the face this is crazy. Unjustice is having his way right now with Luddy with the Chameleon. Luddy's switching to Chameleon also, but it's, I haven't been seeing too much sauce with him. Let's see an Unjustice have his way. Oh my god. It's about it's about time one found its mark. The blood are trying to He's still in the middle. And he just blocked it on wake up eagly with Deagle. Oh my, it's just too much. The Deagle and Eagly is just too much, bro. It's too much power. It's too much sauce. This is, this, this is Sindel. Who, if she can turn things around, then I mean that literally on the screen, if she can get him cornered. I Wait believe in Sindel with any health, health deficit. Wait a goddamn minute. Aqua, this might be a change of pace. She's going close to close corner to corner. Knocked down. The stilettos. I need, I'm, I'm gonna need Ludi to take seven damage, Tento, to give himself a fatal blow. He just needs it. So get there it is. Block. See, the problem is, unjust blocks, and that's gonna be it. Gunshots. Just called it out. Knew the overhead was yeah, coming. Yeah, like a book. You called that out right as it happened. He's got blocks and blocked what uh, would hit a lot of people. Peace. Booyah. Most people hold a crouch guard until it becomes technically a mix-up, right? Or a conventional mix-up, which is after the normal, is the Logan get canceled? Is it just gonna be staggered on that Sindel string? And ooh, instead, peace got spread, motherfucker. Peace out. That's the funniest line in Mortal Kombat 1. Truthfully. When he brutals and... <laughs> and the, the fact that John legit actually did the voice acting for this for real is actually just amazing. Mm. You ever shoot peace into someone before? 
you know. Don't, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm like, I take it back. I take it back. If you did that ten minutes ago, I would have answered that like, yeah. But now because I almost hit you with the frog there, I was close. Oh no. That was really close, man. Can't make me laugh right now. That could be a good time. Let Shit. hold on. I have never seen Letty go to Johnny. I'ma call it a wrap. It was the time of death. 5:49 p.m. Oh. Oh, this early? Yeah, I have mm. never seen Letty play Johnny in my life. I'ma keep it a bust. The same. I ain't even trying to be disrespectful. I have just never seen this man pick Johnny in my life. Oh no! And unjust is just picking up where he left off on the on the peacemaker farm full screen. But hey yo, the double jade is gonna help Ludi out. Put I have to, put him down to one chameleon. No, he tried to fully swag out, but it's not there. This, this is not those. even in his archetype, Aqua. Like I've never seen what him play a character like Tenta. What the fuck is what, what the fuck is what the fuck is an archetype? I don't even know. <laughs> is the archetype like what's what you like? You know your, your skill tree type. Archetype. 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 <laughs> archetype. Arch hey, that's architects. Like some, that's like some Harry Potter spells, man. Archeo. When God be a levios. <laughs> hey, that's just so set point, bro. Hey, he still had a pretty solid round right there. Again, for it being out of his archetype, and that is the grossest coverage that I see out of this character, man. Anywhere on the screen, it's a combo. No weekly. Into the Molina Psy, the ground covered, air covered, boom, into the sonic boom. And we're going to some mix. That's plus on block, by the way. <laughs> I thought it was minus five. You said it's plus my ass. Oh, is it? Is it? I don't know. I'm just oh. at this point. Oh, I've been pressing. Anyways. Does Archeotype sound like a Pokemon? Is it a Pokemon? <laughs> it sure does. Archeotype go. Yeah, it does. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, what a go see the side, gets the back throw. He has to win. Oh, he missed the fan lift. Yeah. Yeah. We'll walk the right into quit. the wake the up. Classic. Brutality? No. Unjust. Showing a little mercy right there towards the end, but not going to be the end of Ludi's run. Ludi's not going to let this get to him mentally whatsoever. He's still in this. Knows that he got a little bit of a tough draw, getting a tournament demon out of the, out of the way. I like that his, his pick to Johnny in that, you know, full screen, he was just getting harassed and bullied and Call of Duty. But in that matchup, he's able to close the gap a lot better, have some more threats, had some great challenges against the force field with some shadow kicks. It was a read away in both rounds. I liked it. I liked it. Speaking of closing the gap, we're closing the gap to $2,000 because of a $20 donation from Jay Parks. Yo, thank you. Appreciate you, man. That's another shot there, boys. That is another shot, you're not lying. I think that we still owe two Tento. Isn't that great? We definitely do. The bottle's already gone, though, but... Um... Oh, th oh, oh, three now. Yeah, we're supposed to be at, I think, five right now? Yeah, we're at five total. We owe three I more. got... Oh. Including yeah. the shot I just poured, I got two shots left. I, I got three shots left. All right, so this is that one. Let's do it. Commentary is going to get much more interesting from here, ladies and gentlemen. This hoodie's about to come off. <laughs> At the break, this hoodie's gone, bro. We <laughs> keep it a whole stack. I hope our viewers go up then. <laughs> I, I, Just a. I don't. I don't care anymore, Tento. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it like it is. Okay, this is this, this is 2024. We're gonna be real. Okay. You're right. 100. percent Cheers, everyone. Hope you guys are enjoying the Coliseum. Thank you for being here all season long. Here in season six, if you haven't watched the previous action, check out our YouTube channel. Every show was there on the live tab. It's gorgeous. Every single one, top to bottom. Hope you enjoyed the competitive Mortal Kombat. Many more and many moons on the way. Cheers. Woo! Oh, shit, cheers. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that's oh. Oh, that's a sea monster! It's a sea monster, Tento. Mmm. Wow. Oh, it's got some bite. Does that it definitely one? Definitely does. <clears throat> and Rick, if you never mind. I was gonna say that I think that King of the Hills are in a good enough spot where we can stay in here. I like it. I like that idea too. It's quick thinking right there. <laughs> so every match will be streamed. So Shuleta and Get Wrecked just be on standby. Everyone, 
everything's gonna be on stream coming up next we got someone i'm real excited to see it's gonna be bandinos rain going up against hourglass of rain who will not be playing rain you know it's hilarious you put a team kill on team kill in this uh, bracket and it is yeah it is unfortunately a team kill both these boys are young, by the way. Hourglass 17, Bandino's, I believe, either 15 or 16. What in what? Yeah, Bandino's voice hasn't dropped. I heard his voice for the first time like a week and a half ago. I'm like, oh my god, you are a kid, a child. That, that surprises me because he plays like a grown ass <laughs> man. Did those put everybody on blast today? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Shit. It's a look at this talking, bro. <laughs> nah, Bandino's plays like a 40 year old. That's crazy. Oni, Hourglass of Rain, Oni, Bandinos. Hourglass of Rain, one of our favorite stories in our Mortal Kombat 1 seasons. Back in season number five, Hourglass of Rain won five of the eight weeks of the Coliseum to where I changed the format this season so that you can't win more than one season because he was so winning me last season. Uh, absolutely dominated, but unable to take the entire thing. I believe got uh, second or third in in the finale uh, for season number five, uh, and trying to take the whole thing here against Bandinos. But has been one of the most dominant players in the Coliseum in this game. Has been one of the few to take it to Fox as well. Tento, and currently he's getting rained on. He's definitely this, getting rained on right now. This team is that safe? The fuck yeah. Is that move? Yeah. I'm sick of it. Bro, okay. That also is dead. one of Rain's new moves right there, which is his forward one, and that's his other new move, his back three, that advancing low puddle. Rain right I now is in an absolutely petrifying state, as as you can hear in Tento's voice. Uh, all his cancels can lead to full combos, and this particular team and this particular cameo even scare the fuck out of me. And I'll tell you why. Janet that Rain right. leads to everything a character wants, needs, and desires in this game cancels into 500 damage uh setups into f uh, fun blockables 300 damage off of throws and everything it scares me at, at a high execution this is going to be a scary team moving forward tento very scary yeah i can definitely see it and bandino's by the way he did a team battle yesterday and um that man actually took out like three players it's actually insane not even kidding so we're gonna see how it goes 10 seconds left on the clock by the way low side likely still in never mind it's not in bandino's favor anymore because that man is fucking dead holy shit round two fight on board trying to go advance forward it goes in the low uh, water beam one nothing else. overhead so it gets shipped. That's nice. The cancel gets the back three. That combo oh, from that yes, far? Yes, from bro. all ranges. No, from bro. every range that your mind can he possibly fathom. 400. Yeah. Why the fuck was that 400 for that? Don't. Just because he got hit? No. By water. He's cleaning him. This is, this is the scariness. And you shall not pass. <laughs> That's, Man, that's the end of the string. Forward one, two. That's a string. Most people think it's a special move. But it is it's a, a string? string? It's a string. Get the fuck out of here. It, it's a shore you of water. Oh, brother. He got a water sort of charge. Get him out, bro. That's that dirty water, too. It's just weird. That's what's cool. That's what's good about it, is it's weird. No one knows what to do when you block it. No one knows what to do when it hits. Today. But the rain one of the Jesus things, Christ. one of the biggest things missing from Rain's arsenal, in my opinion, prior to the patch, was something that advanced forward, let alone something that advanced forward that was a mid. And lo and behold, he got two that are godlike. Isn't that wonderful? Is it happy days? Enjoy <laughs> all the Rain players. Fucking hate you. Anyway, Brat's pack, aka Hourglass of Rain, is definitely figuring some stuff out right now. However, Lone has been played, and that's a cool combo. Holy hell, he figured that out. But. He got the corner. Is out as Bandino. He can make some shake. Never mind. He's dead. Mm. Finish him. Gotta save him there though. Hourglass taking game number one in a tight one. Between the teammates and Oni.
And Rain and Ermac, it, it, Chad was kind of mm -hmm. talking about how Rain's doing Ermac things, both in a very similar spot in this in this current patch. The two kind of premier cancel characters, um, you know, I, I guess with how Ermac was coming out, they gave Rain a little more juice just because of it, because Ermac's cancels are reminding me of MK9 cancels, Tento. Like, oh my goodness. No, the cancels that they gave him is like, I, I, first off, that back, that, um, that back, yeah, back, back, three back two, four, back, Dark back three, company. stand two, one, uh, everything. Those cancels aren't that hard to get, it, um, to get a hold of either. And on top of that, with some cameos that's like Cyrex that combos into back three and Sonya that gets loops and back three jails into Motaro low shot. Yeah, it's okay, a whoa, big whoa, 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 whoa. You're right. Yeah. It's a big problem here. Big issue. But Bandino switches to the Liu Kang. He's going to the Shaolin Monks. No, it's not 2004. It's just Shaolin Monks. Is that when that game came out? I don't even know. I never played it. Someone in the chat will know. When did Shaolin Monks come out, guys? There's a big test for you. Yeah, when did Shaolin Monks come out, guys? Please let me know, because I definitely don't know. I was just saying numbers. I never played the game. Bro, that overhead has been doing work with low hat from um, Hourglass. So not 1995? Has... Get the hell out of here. No, not with those graphics. Yeah, those no way. Themselves. That's the word. Yeah, no way. 1995 was uh, long before then. Oh, 2005. 2005. Okay, thank you. I was close, 2004, 2005, so you're off. Oh no, we're not blocking the low hat. But not only has Hourglass been dominating him the Coliseum, been a fan favorite too, has been taking it to some of the top players, one of the best newcomers in MK1, but the kid's father is in the live audience and is pulling for his son in these tournaments, which is one of my favorite stories in Coliseums are when we get the father-son duos. Yeah. And so he's in the live audience right now. I'm your father. Is our gods of Rain's father? Give him a big round of applause. Welcome, I think. Big job, I'm your father. Man. He's actually gonna be at Texas Showdown too. So. Oh, I get to meet him. You. Yeah, you get to meet him. Yeah, yes. You're lucky, bastard. I get to meet. I'm your father. I gotta say the voice line too. Oh my God, fireball. And and Hourglass and online kale, the young guns. Oh, Hourglass. Wait, online kale's gonna be there too. Hourglass and online kale from what I, from what I heard. God damn it. I gotta hold that. Fight. Are you mean? Are you, do, you, do you get to see Mama Gambler though? With I do get to see Mama Gambler. Gambler. With King right. Gambler going to Vegas? Gambler is going to Vegas, so I do get to see Mama Gambler. I almost hit some. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to save you from that one. I, I wouldn't be able to save myself from that one. Gambler would have been mad while I've been talking about it. Anyway, I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Eight, 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 eight. I'm gonna eight. check that. Step on the just so I'm not lying, I'm gonna check that about online kill. Goes with low hat afterwards, does get the poke, but the overhead's coming through. Beautiful block, and that's a one two punish. It's minus seven. Aim. Look at that damage. Bandino's willing to work with his new cane, but however, you dash a little bit too many times, and that's gonna cost you dearly. What's your life? You gotta block this next setup for your life, my boy. Blocks correctly. And get shimmied. Bandino's strikes back at his teammate one to one. The only on only team kill, the onslaught somewhere right now. Smoke is just doing the Kendrick Lamar screen. Upset. Mad. His teammates gotta kill each other right now. Okay, I might be wrong about online kill going to Texas Showdown. Yeah, I'm about to say he is. You Cali, son right? of a There's guy. a there's a couple from Florida going though. We got Striker going, Dialog. Yeah. Just so someone signed up at Texas Showdown for Mortal Kombat with the name of Earth, Wind, and Hamster. Earth, Wind, Give him the W. Give him the championship. <laughs> Earth, Earth Room. <laughs> I just wanted that randomly known. That's, a, That's someone, just a random name, but a great name. A human hell? being wanted to sign up for a Mortal Kombat tournament as Earth, Wind, and Hamster. Oh, dear. That's the second time that, um, you know, Hourglass Rain has woke up with buttons because he did not give a fuck about Bandino's meaties. He just knows that he doesn't one, have two. You were complaining a lot about Rain's back three and his, and his new forward one and all this, but, like, when he just got a one-two, bro. 
that you can flaws block and it's minus 15. Okay, but have you ever seen a flaws block ever in a tournament? Yeah, Big, G, Big Daddy G just flaws blocked that shit three times in a row on my ass. I was like, damn, I can't use this button. Nice jump, bud. And Alphabet while we just playing. Shout out to Alphabet. Oh, okay, good, but have we ever seen it one time on the Coliseum stream? Like, uh, have any of our glasses one twos been flawless blocked? Any of Dexies tonight? Oh, actually, yeah. Bandoodles actually did it in this match. Oh, you're right. Uh, yeah, yeah. In this set. Yeah, one. But he went to low side. Yeah, one out of one out of the three hundred. Okay. Set it back to. Sweet. You see, Tento. That's actually what in the crap that, I thought I was gonna pick that up. That comboed. And it was gonna lead to a full combo for a second. Maybe it's a range specific conversion. My fingers hurt just thinking about the inputs you just did, though, by the way. Oh, he's not blocking my wake up. I wouldn't block either, but my guy, you're gonna hurl 40 for it. I'm sorry, 34. That's, that is insane. What? Off of low side, no EX? He just needs to do that for a full combo? That is so good. Just scared. Actually, I might have switched Chameleon. I might have to switch. This is insane. You're seeing the synergy? The sauce? I'm, I'm seeing the sauce, okay? Chef Remy being kicked, him, okay? This is Ratatouille at his finest. Hourglass has his button. Bro, the craziness bro, bro, on the groove for quite some time with the so character, good. and he just cooked a masterpiece. That is so good. Showed us what he was all about with that one drop earlier, Tento. We've seen it now in full action. Hang that in a museum. I'm not blocking that. I'm getting hit by whatever the hell that was. Show me that in instant replay. Presented by Coliseum. Yeah. Dashes up, goes for the one into low side. Who, who's blocking this? Not me. That means doing stand one low side fan lift. Come here, call fan lift into back four two. I mean back uh, down back two. And is down that gapless, four. which would catch him trying to up block one two? I think it is. You can't. You actually can't up block one two. If you take if you take the first hit at least, I've never seen someone try to block one too. No, I. I mean, uh. Well, you said you could unlock the one two on block with Melina, right? I mean, can you? you... Flawless, no, you can flawless block that flawless last hit. Block. Got you. Yeah. But is there a gap if you were to go into uh, just stand one into the low side? I guess that, that's what I was asking. That's why I don't know. Actually, I haven't left. Oh, that ex excellent question. I will check that out later. He cancels. Bro, he just still did it. This man has some cojones. Ooh, oh, almost got the conversion too. Gets the 4-4, four, four, but yo, that had to be a missed input in D. Goes for the overhead, but gets the back throw instead. Comes out, not back, so he's not going to get a full combo. But he gets corner position. This man tried to wake up teleport. What a deal. He's had no fear of anything with his back to the corner here. And it just might be why. He is him. He's shooting there trying to wake up with a 1-2. The disrespect. Right. And if, if he steals the round off of this. Oh. Except for armor. Wait a minute. He just might steal the round. I think he was trying to stay low profile, but... Looks like this Mac the Frames tried to steal it with the low there. Great block. Both for the as well. And gets the low fireball afterward. Hey, get wrecked. Chill out with that. Molina's not top five, brother. Ain't no stay woke at all. Get wrecked. I'm as woke as they come, my friend. I've been awake since the dawn of time, and I'm in agreement. This motherfucker. Okay. Oh, activates the glow. You can't, you can't throw any fireballs. You gotta hold this. All right. Oh, activated the glow twice. You want the double glow, huh? I don't believe you get wrecked. Great patience by Beninos. He hasn't fallen for some of those raw low sides in a while. Ooh, he gets a throw, but no. Yeah, unhand me. Well, Glow is up. He's really limited in what he can do. All the special moves are negated. All Hourglass right now. Only 850 damage for that. So cost Beninos a bar. He's still going to be feeling himself. A little too early on that ball roll. And goes under making way to bar and it should be chipped out at this point. Nah, no, I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe. Ooh. I don't believe. I will. Yes, I Fatal? Don't believe. Absolutely. I don't believe. It's not gonna happen. Can't kill here. Not gonna happen. 
but he's gonna bet on something YOLO here in the end. Got two seconds up on the meaty, meaty EX flying kick full screen. No, he's just going EX. Me um, ben, oh, freaking Bowser glass is going EX teleport when we go. But will the teleport hit the flying kick? Wow, oh, no, it, it was it was, it was like any said, of what we thought I it don't was. Believe. Wake up, jump back though. Fight. Wake up, jump back. Sometimes this works out in your favor. Oh my god, a combo. Hey, hey, hey. That's plus. That's way on down close. And he knew the dash up was coming immediately challenged with a one-two. I love it. Now it's backing up. Hourglass is not the fortune anything quite yet. I think oh, there's no that no! Combos. Are you kidding me? There's being built different, and then there's being programmed differently. And this man was is programmed different by an AI that made the game. Prove me wrong. Just don't understand at all. That's a big whip punish? No, he just go for anti-air. Get a fan with. And he was scared of uh, air ball roll as well. I respect that respect. Okay, Dino's trying to time his approach. He thought the throw was coming, but no. Hourglass, you're holding the mid. Hard knockdown. I uh, I was, was going to hold the Lao hat there, I think. Blew out. Oh, the crush straight hit. Was expecting it, though. Didn't see the ball roll. Close to low side. Not going to get the full combo. Melina's still on deck, so he can go for another low side. He has another bar. Close to Glaive instead. The patience. Wait a minute. Time on the clock. Full Sonic the roll. Seven seconds down. This is killing so much time. Plus, get to help me with the button. No, though. misses it. That's gonna be Bandino's going two to two. What's high? Wow. First game five of the finale, final match of round one winners. The winner of this gets gifted with a match against the mightiest of unjusts. Big shout out to everyone supporting. Big shout no. out to everyone who's donated to the match arena too. Man, this is crazy. Yep. Yeah, thank you everyone who has, who has put this prize pool at over sixteen hundred dollars for the season. Thank you so much. Tento, Can we get to two thousand? I wonder. For the sake of my so so soberness, sobriety. I hope not. Be a sovereign, <laughs> Empress, not a tyrant. But I, I think that we should. Catch up on our shots, Nintendo. Another one? Yeah, we did. I just might as well finish the rest of the fight. Yo, there's no way you whip for that on the rip. Time. If you guys don't know what a 2 2 is here in the Coliseum, it is a sudden death where we ignite the entire arena ablaze. That's right. You guys in the stands, don't make any sudden moves. There's fire all around you. Be careful out there. We do not accept any claims for damages. Y'all gotta hold that. Welcome. To the Coliseum set in death. 2 2. It's first blood going to Bandinos, who's lighting them up in the corner right now with some big damage. Uh, so some stylish so enders so on those air blasts. Set death situation. Remember, guys, this isn't going to be an elimination point. It's actually just going to be them going to the lower side of the bracket. However, these boys do not want to go down there. You definitely want to secure most of the bag by standing on the winner's side. Oh, activates the glow in his face. But that's the worst, but gets the big forward throw, and that's the most damaging forward throw coming out of Chameleon. 130. Depending on the cameo that she has available, but it be the He tried to go for pop tart, but it didn't work out too well. Stand for it into fatal blow. Not gonna kill, but it's gonna be some great action. It's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. And why did that hit behind him? Is he dead? He's Excuse dead. Excuse me? No, he's dead. He's actually Look at dead. this. Bro, that did so much damage. He's super mega ultra dead. That was he whipped up. That was tart. Nuts. Oh my god. Match point. Our glass of rain. Half life, to, half life, his teammate, to put himself in this situation. Doesn't get eaten up by the staggers of Melita and calls out the Jade Blade perfectly. He gets another input error, I assume, on the teleport of Liu Kang, and has been costing him dearly. Bandino's. In oh this no, it's one. intentional. It's uh, so you get okay. a setup out. You can get a setup after the uh, throw tag. It's actually. Kind of cheap when you really think about it. Oh, Not yeah, you're right. You you're setup. right. Like, why, 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 why can you get it set up after a low sec? That's actually just too much. Walking back is Bandino, so he wants to make sure he gets to a final round, but um, something about this guy, Brat's pack. 
hourglass of rain that um, somehow finds a hit. Ooh, he found himself getting hit right there. On his way, and Bandino's looking to send us to a final round. Sends mm. the entire arsenal. Hits him with a meteor shower full screen. More flames for the Coliseum. Yeah, final game, final round between the sudden death between these two to advance one in the bracket. Right now, Bandino still does have Beta Blue on his side. The Hourglass Ray does not. The meteor advantage is pretty much about even. He's about to make a read on that glow too, which is activated perfectly on the Lao half. I see oh another low side that gets that full combo potential every time. Besides the break, does not want to deal with the knockdown situation. That boy, see, I think Bando has it. He said, never mind if he got hit. <laughs> he goes with the boy just like that? That's crazy. <laughs> That's how quick it is in the streets, man. You'll be rooting for your boy, and then he eats a haymaker, and he goes, no, nah, never mind. Ooh, that's so something worse, the that's that's oh my god, so much guaranteed damage. Gets a corner two. Check for mid. Blade. My turn back. He's looking for a jump back to the scout, and he gets it! That should be so bad. It's not going to be dead quite yet, but the situation afterwards, the throw. No, he's going to mid. Thought he was gonna catch a jump back right there. Gets his forward four interrupted! So... And ends it the way he began. Stabby, stab, stab, Instant stab, jump stab, back, stab, stab. roll. Oh. That's no. a teammate! Why are you doing this? Sometimes you gotta search your diamonds to the teammates. Will she understand? We can about she. Liu Kang's girlfriend, Katana? Yeah, actually, yeah, she will understand. Sometimes the guys get got. You ever heard about Kratos? It's crazy. And GG's. It took a classic between the two to determine a winner there. Hourglass of Rain 3 to 2. We're facing off the Mighty Gun just here in just a little bit. We're gonna take a dip down into the loser's side of things. We're gonna have Shuleta versus Get Wrecked Yo, coming up next. And we didn't take that shot because it was right into a sudden death tento caught me off guard. I don't know if you took the shot on it. Did you I take did it? not. Okay. Because always riddle my mans. I'm gonna leave oh. you hanging. I'm your father in the chat saying GG's only because his son won. Will he have, would he have said GG's if his son had lost? That's the ultimate question. I was messing with you, I'm your father. Cheers, thanks, thanks for being here and supporting your son getting a big victory there. Now in the winner's semifinals of the event. Did you get all Tento? This is the last <laughs> one. Definitely gonna be the last one coming out of me. Sorry guys, a little behind the scenes stuff going on real quick behind the scenes going on but hey nonetheless guys we appreciate you guys so much for uh helping out the college season for season six we're going on strong but you have been doing just honestly just showing out here for mk1 for our second coming of it uh once again guys the donation to the match reno makes everything go around also subscribe to the youtube channel if you guys do not know we're streaming simultaneously on youtube and twitch at the exact same time twitch is at mr aquaman and youtube oh mr aquaman with two r's and on youtube at the coliseum if you guys want to subscribe to the youtube channel please do so why because you get to see all the action you just seen just now on that youtube channel and you can become a youtube member youtube member is just like a twist subscription just only on youtube become a youtube member today and get all the exclusive rewards and all the perks that help out with it. We appreciate you guys. And shoe and get wrecked. Hold on one second. Sorry. Please ignore invites at the moment. Jay Parks in YouTube chat saying my hands were sweaty after watching that match. Yeah, it got it got get intense, didn't it? It's so crazy, like, you guys think about, like, how nervous you guys get in just watching the matches. Just imagine how the players are feeling. A lot of these players can be having stone faces, but their hearts be thumping. That's why I love that uh, when we played, when they had, the, um, they had the heart rate monitor for the players. Oh, I was like, Jesus. I saw I saw Dragon get up to, like, 178. I was like, Dude. Jesus. And, was... and it's crazy how there were others that, in the most insane situations, had, like, a resting 80. Yeah. Oh, that was, um... Wow. That was who we called. That was um, Foxy, Foxy Grandpa. Yeah, Foxy yeah. Grandpa. Calm, cool, and collected, man. If you guys want to learn how to be, on. how to be better, like players and better gamers and probably better people, like pay attention to Foxy Grandpa. Not necessarily what happens on his stream, but follow. You know, pay attention to what he does and how he does it. <laughs> 
if, truthfully. But but also Goro twerking. Goro twerking. Yeah. Is it Rakamakasa not because I don't know how you say it every single time. I don't know how to do and I don't know how to I don't know most of what happens on that stream. At all. It's literally whoop whoop into um motherfucker. Oh, my bad Tento if you're getting invited to. The what? That's on me. Is it shot time? I'll, I think that I went on a tangent. I poured it. And we still didn't take the shot. That's on me. It's horrible. I'm sorry. Nah, that's definitely on me. I pulled you off to deal with that shit off screen. Oh, that's what it was. It was It was actually Ludi's fault, but we're not going to hold that against him. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching the Coliseum. We're finally going to do it. This is to you guys. Thanks for getting our prize pulled up here. Thanks for supporting the players. Thanks for supporting the community. It's all love here. It's all mortal. Cheers. A strong one. Oh, that one. Oh, that one was from the barrel. Of, that one was from the barrel at the bottom of the sea. Oh wait, am I? Well, are we joining Luddies? Are we? Are we joining? Oh, okay, I'm okay. We guess we joined Luddies. Yeah, Luddies, Luddies, Luddies. Uh, Shuleta, I'm sorry. We swapped matches. Uh, we're gonna be running Ludi versus Bandinos first. I do apologize. Whew, one second. That was a good one. That was a really good one. The Kraken is a really strong rum. The Tron is a really strong drink as well. Oh, it was it was kicking a beauty down there? If you guys get to 1,800, I don't have any alcohol left. Well, I don't have any liquor left, but I have wine, and I'll down I'll down the wine bottle. That's all I have left. Yeah. And I had a feeling that in this particular matchup, Tento, this is the first losers one, guys. The loser is eliminated, gone, vanished, sent to the ether. Actually, they do earn a couple bucks, so you don't get nothing. <laughs> they do earn a couple bucks here. Everyone's in the money. But in this particular matchup, had a feeling Ben Yunus was going to go with the rain, and it's going to be the rain sub zero as well to counter the zoning, to be able to outzone her as well. And rain gives him some nasty setups. Bro, was, was one of the meter one of the first. game. Jeez. He's already got multiple bars. The blocks on mix-up, too. So, sorry, the mix-up's on block as well. Boy, did that rum just backhand me. Yeah, where, where is Woody Cam? The rum is running you? Oh, man. He's about to turn into uh, Captain Jack Sparrow in a bit. Rick, do you want to attempt grabbing uh, Woody? Fly away now. Fly. Yo, blocking that correcting is going to be a full combo punish. You got all the meters to work with. Take this man to the skies, freeze him, and get him with a knockdown. Charging up the special beam cannon, mm -hmm. setting up the puddle. Oh, it's cheap. It's cheap. Oh, he gets another one? This kid is stupid. Oh, wait a minute. What's wake up, kids. Is, is that a wake up? I mean, he did it. On wake up. I don't, I don't think it's a wake up, but he did do it as a wake up, which I guess did make it a wake up. You right. What kind of wine? What kind of wine? Grabbing the wine. It is, um. Meter, meter, meter. What? Black box premium wine. Oh! <gasps> And because it hit Chameleon! Look at the damage! Are oh you my God. kidding me right now? This is insane! Bandino's. Why is this so much red? That was off of like seven cancels too. Are you shitting me? It's, it said 355, but his health bar is gone. It did, he got deleted. The forecast calls for rain, baby. The next seven days straight. I hope you guys are ready to get drenched. Which I'll go for, but not, not the words. Cancels. Goes for down three. Up, 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 up. Rick, did you put that by the way? I'm just curious. Oh my god, oh, no, that's okay, it. Okay, 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 I'm just curious. Chip. I'm gonna go Chip. into the guy. Oh so my god! Why the fuck did a torso go fly like that, Aqua? That was Bandino's taking that first game. You know, sometimes. Sometimes you just blow someone's back out. I felt that. Rain. 
Uh, do it interact and then full screen first, right? Sub zero. No, like the actual browser full screen. Now I remember why I rebelled. Do you also remember how that ended? Yeah. It, that should give you a little more fight. And then and then crop down below. Getting first hit, and there it is. The swirly. And went for the, the cancel the 4 3 2. He is mixing. Looney right now. And this is really smart. Did that anti? Sure did. You cannot pass! I told you, Tinto, when we started. What did I tell you? I told you to take the wizard stat. No, okay, no. What button is that? What, 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 is it 4 1? 4 1. That's what I thought. The one one cancel. Does that plus? I don't even know. Other, all I know is this man's blood is gonna die for it. No, none of the rain cancels are plus except for I think. Wait, wait a minute. The sub zero gives him extra health, which is gonna mean that Luddy has he to go for a reset it. here. Try them. One one on the other side, the trip guard, if you will. Bandino is showing off the tentacles. Fight. And ladies and gentlemen, on the screen, that right there is none other than Mr. Ludi himself. We, we, we are getting a live live camera from Ludi who is streaming his Coliseum run right now. You guys can go watch him at twitch.tv slash Ludi FGC L U D I. FGC. Thank you for the raid, Tweety. Oh, and I'm and I'm and I'm. Is there audio? Oh, oh, Rick, mute the audio on that on that browser. Please. Sorry about that, guys. And, uh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, and also, guys, I'm, I'm gonna give you the buck. Oh, yeah, all the other guys, I'm gonna give props to Luddy. All the other guys said they did not want to put their webcam on because they're too scared. So I'm gonna just say it, Luddy, to go. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Are we good, sound blast? Making sure. Okay, so we're good. Mixing and it's into the fatal bandito is gonna take the round off into Looty. God damn, so Zero does mad damage. This is definitely gonna kill. Gonna get the water pillar into breaking the pillar. Oh, and going. there you see Looty going, son of a bitch, it was a 50-50 coming anyway. Yeah, no one else wanted to do the cam except Luddy, so I respect Luddy so much for doing this. Everyone else. I ain't going to say it. No, I ain't going to say it. Don't say it. But Bandino is currently up 2-0. With Pepto Bismol reign of all outfits, man. Man? I'd be a little offended. Also, m mad respect for Ludi for ha Game having his camera on in the middle of a, middle of a tournament. You're testing man? your luck, Pris. Love it. It's Honestly. you who tests yours. Yeah, seriously, Ludi, thank you. Appreciate I, it. I love seeing people's actual emotions, raw emotions, raw Action reactions. Showing. And not being scared like other individuals. <laughs> what just happened? I'm sorry, I don't care. I will call them there out. We go. But no, I agree. I agree. Just, just like most people online, Tento, who are fucking scared and hiding behind avatars and are, are, and are just afraid of real life, apparently. You know what I mean? Just saying. Just saying. Name said individuals. Mighty Unjust. The said, Mighty Unjust. Um, Aqua, oh, yeah. Ermac is legal cow. And Koi. Both those ones. Is someone saying that, uh, people ugly in the chat? No. Because actually, Kokoyan is just, uh, just actually a handsome motherfucker. They just choose not to show that. To thing. be fair, Unjust usually doesn't if he's competing. Sorry, I just want to play. <laughs> it gives us something to talk about, man. It gives us filler here on the air. As Ludi, does the comeback begin here? 
double sub armor, and it was the Sindel here. Interrupts the advance of the rain. And here we go. I'll be getting mad when I play y'all. Yeah, we saw that at USA. Let me stop. All right. Uh oh. That's crazy. Oh, I don't remember him showing any emotion at replay. I'm just kidding. Did he? <laughs> that dragon's just me. Most of y'all youngins are just robots out there on the stage. Listen, listen, you also gotta oh, remember, is, it's delayed because it's a Twitch stream. Yeah, it's delayed, yeah, because I'm not lying. So, so I'm getting a that. double delay because I'm looking at the Twitch stream of the Twitch stream of oh. dude. Oh, oh man, yeah, that yeah, my yeah. mind just we got are a little body on our, on our live stream. Right my right. mind got bodied in that moment. He goes for the EX flip kick, doesn't get anything afterwards. The Stiletto's putting in overtime, but the water is getting washed off. Goes to a double back three into another back three and gets to cancel this time around. Bro, what? And the range, like you talked about earlier, that he can do it from so far away, it's gonna be a 50 50. Oh, oh my god, it was dirty, it was disgusting, and it was not worth it. Now you gotta no. guess your life, Bandinos. Gonna get the block in the down one afterwards. Let it was in the storm. Dude, he survived a couple of fun the block for your life situations right there. Bandinos put him in a blender and he survived. He crawled his way out, reached for the sides, and survived the blades. Booty, look at that. Leaned forward a little bit in his chair, I just saw, as he says, okay, we're in this. As Bandino's almost set played this entire health bar away. But look at it, he blocked it right and just got sucked. Yep. Davy Davy Jones it. grasped him from the bottom of the ocean and said, You're 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 coming with me. That's where you fall right here. Yeah, he got sucked indeed. The gateway. I have only wanted what's best for Outworld. The problem is your judgment as to what that is. Oh, damn. Rain can't answer back with a bar. I ain't going to cut. There's a battle of some ugly down threes, too. Look at that thing. And look at Reigns. They're both half screen. Bro. Just going out the way. Oh, I forgot he gets a full combo from that. What the? Oh, my God. And it's, it's, so it's beefy damage, too. He can opt for the jump two, four, three for some more damage. Or a longer combo route. But the ender. You saw him go for that aerial combo is the biggest damage winner of Rain. And up 2 1 here, he's got the lead, and you cannot pass! Shall not pass. Just, you know, that's the thing, it's in the space. Mad disrespectful tries to go for a back three afterwards, but backs up. Goes for the 1 2 and gets the conversion. I'm sorry, the 1 1. 8 8. Oh, oh. Charge. oh, he's dead. Damn. But an optimal right there, when I was saying that Rain Janet could be like top, top, top in the game. The fact that anything can lead into something into a double Janet, full water charge into over 400 to 500 damage in the corner is pretty absurd. And, and now that he can hicker firm from way farther away with his back threes and stuff, scary access to scary damage. And in the corner? I mean, I found it a couple hours ago, but I don't want to tell people. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about why I just saw you. Yet, but I, don't, I don't think you want to talk about it. I don't know if that's the I know you All I want to say is that if Bandinos hits back three down Janet in the corner, it's about to be some fun. Uh, he gets the back throw. Wait a minute. Activate the water puddle. Oh, no. Go see the other side. Tank down. Poke from Luddy. Safe on the cancel. I was a debate like that. You, you think you're right? And you have to worry about the backdash cancel, which is... Talk about a mind game on top of it. With his new button set advance, set up with pushes like crazy, but the... I tremor safe. Hey, Dino's about to break. Final Smack him with the hair, too, on the way out. What the heck? That was insulting. This one's getting thrown from that far, Giggs. Jump off of that. That's actually insane. That's why Benny knows holds the whole thing. Lucky that block didn't get punished though. Get more off that throw. Interrupting. We're swinging. Cut your block there. It was damage. Damage. Oh, two two ten. Ten. Jesus. I know still had a command grab. Since when? Yeah. <laughs> you see me? Just the back to the. Oh, sorry, that's the fourth, though. 140 off of that, by the way. Janet hurts with those throws, man. They add up. Two of the biggest fourth throw damages in the game. You guys are seeing them. 
Summon Janet. Woody running out oh, of armor, hit. and I think that's whiffing, correct? Oh, whoa. Close out of way. Just outside the lightning. Had enough space. We're almost in the corner. Eats a raw overhead, though, in LO43. Nation has the execution. Welcome to Mixed Town. Good hit. He didn't believe in the full string, though. Could have killed if that hit, though. Full string and a fatal blow. He's going to need one more. Booty, giving a second life here in the corner. Has to deal with a lot of mix ups. Locks so goes it. for the risky wake up and Bandinos. We'll take this three to one and Ludi's run. But congratulations to Ludi making his first finale here in the Coliseum, getting his first massive win in the Coliseum back in week number seven. Ludi doing nothing but better in grinding and has been playing in the Coliseum since the beginning in all five, or sorry, all six seasons now. Uh, so cheers, man. Thank you. Big shout out to Luddy. Showing all the face cam and also, like I said, winning week number seven, showing great stuff with, uh, with the Sindale and overcoming the bracket. But unfortunately, he is going to fall. And you hate to see it, but, you know, someone's got to fall out the bracket at the end of the day. And it can only be one winner. So, Luddy, great season nonetheless. Yeah, GG's Luddy. showing off season six, man. It was one of the few streaming his run. You can go... Uh, Go say GG's to him right now. Go to twitch.tv slash FGC if you want to go and say something to the man. Say GG's. Thanks for the run this season here in Coliseum. You did great, man. What a run. Shuleta get wrecked. We'll be up next. Shuleta and get wrecked. And Rick, are you handling that one? All right, cool. You love everything gets locked and loaded. Anthony Davis, BR says Lakers in seven. That's a max copium if I ever said so myself. I don't follow the NBA. How are my Spurs doing, man? <laughs> oh shit! I went to the I went to the Spurs I went to a Spurs Celtics game this year, and uh, the records were quite perplexing. That's all I'll say. Yeah, yeah. Wait, was Wimby playing that game when you went? Yeah, he was. It was great, and and, and he had a good game. Hey, see, I, I, bro, seeing that man in real life had to be a had to be a trip, wasn't it? Oh, dude, he was. He's crazy, Ludi. Please leave. Oh, there we go. He's. Yo. It's it's like inhuman. It's almost like it like seeing an alien in real life. <laughs> For real. That man saw Wimbiyama in real life. He said, "Wait, what?" Oh, Ludi with a raid as well. Thank you, Ludi. And like we were just saying, man, hell of a run. You had a wonderful season. Great ass run, Ludi. And you've had nothing but great seasons here, man. You've been competing since the beginning. Good shit, man. Good shit. Good shit indeed. Goro. Get Rex not going with the Johnny out of the gate. Why Wants to bring. I think that this is a great pick. And any character that has an armor break is a great pick here because he's not going to deal with wake up armor at all in most instances because of forward four. Four four is such a good button, but you got to make sure you time it correctly and don't get ate up too much by delay wake up. But Shaletta is going to be back on the screen with the Kung Lao Goro. And we're in the new stage that you get from completing invasions, which is the rain version of this stage. So no, 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 nothing changed inside the tea house, but in the background, more rain. Before that's a one to punish. Yes, this is what Dangerous about that EX armor move. That EX armor move is minus seven. And because Liu Kang has a six framer, oh, you gotta be careful. Oh. 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 Trying to get in the corner. Do some down fours. That's pretty scary to do still. Tyler's gonna get him on a counter poke there. Not falling for it. Let's get wrecked at all, neither on the dead kick, but the punish invades him. Bro, he's letting the armor go burr. How many armor moves he do in that round alone? That was the first round, and it felt like he did an armor move at least seven times. Jeez. Someone count it in the chat. And he still has two. Sorry, no bars. I was looking inside. Has almost built an entire bar, though. Isn't it crazy how getting hit by one projectile and throwing one projectile of your own can build you that much meter? <laughs> Did you work it? It did, too. Right, break it. Let this make his way in. I thought I was gonna armor the head on reaction. Was. Oh, look how differently Getrek has to play once he has the bar, you know, trying to dance his way around the armor and bait it. But it looked like with a couple of jump uh, reads, too. 
Because the armor's not going to be quick enough for, you know, some, something like Shaletta to try to react to a jump with an anti-air. Like, like an instance right there. It's just a little too slow. Yeah, Goro on the way back, too. Get the duck. Let's get Shim. I like the down one. And just with the mid, that should be the round. Ooh. Well, not quite, but Chip is a big issue right now. And gets hit by the hat with his back foot. Oh, man. Final round. Fight. Just doing anything to close the gap right now. Nope. The Lao hat. Mm, Stonewall's no up. That's a perfect armor through there. Back to the corner you go. Boom! It's down. And so many mix ups available. Just launch him off a sweep. That's that's nasty work, as kids say. It's insane work, actually. Hey, hey, hey. Pop tart? Oh, yeah, we're going for Pop tart Ender. Try to go for Big Shimmy. It doesn't get it, but gets another back, though. Say it with and... chest. Calming off your throw, that's some old ancient stone work right there. Huh. Tries to grab some forward down, movement, bro. some more, and it's, it's been one of the things that Shled has you know been abusing has been four dash down forward, and then get Rex finally a little bit sick of it here. With the down poke checks of his own and couples off another back row. We'll take game one here. We'll start off kind of ugly, but uh, you know, get Rex turns it around. Okay. It takes it over, get Rex taking that first game. Looking pretty strong thus far, okay? I like the Liu Kang call out because you said in the beginning, he's like, you know what, I like this change when it comes to the armor break setups. Breaking Shaletta kind of second guess when he doesn't wake up. And you see the hesitation for um, Shaletta actually on those wake ups as well. I like that Get Wrecked always seems to come into these games with like two characters that cover as many matchups as possible and he just okay. plays it out. Raiden. And for him here in this wow. game, it's been the Johnny Liu. I think depending on the situation, depending on what he's feeling that day, hasn't really needed anything else. Truthfully, that's that's a great team to have. Those two characters alone, they cover each other's uh, matchups pretty well. If you if you feel like you're getting uh, zoned out a decent amount, it's like man, I might as well switch to loose so I can zone back. And she let us going home, Tento. The Thunder God makes an appearance. The weather summoned him. He said, "Maybe the better." He said, "You know what? Maybe the buffs, uh, the nurse aren't bad." That's a punish. Yo, Fabs, you came through with this axe as a man playing bottom one rating, and then as soon as you said that, you switched through. That's crazy, bro. You remember yesterday I mentioned that some outfits just don't look right? Raiden with flame decals and tattoos doesn't really look right to me. <laughs> you don't? Know, I like the tattoos, but the flame, yeah, the flames definitely yeah. throw it off. The tattoos don't seem to and catch a punish? Oh, yes, man. but Kano... Kano's a filthy bastard, man. He really is. Pussy man right there, pussy man. Yo, is that Mako in the chat? The one who won? The gods? The East? Hey, yo. Fabs who made the big run Mako. as well? Final Combat Mako? This Canadian crazy. Traveler Mako? Is he gonna try some Poutine Mako? Oh, wait, big confirm. That's the way the Oh, no, he didn't go to Fatal. That's the way he's mad, damn it. Hey, hey, and to the kill, okay. Catch your breath. Round two, fight. These two players trying to add their name into the rings of online champions. The losers round one match, though. It's the mountain to climb. Mm, that starts one hit. step at a time, one hit at a time. One combo at a time. Yes. Oh, Get wrecked right now. Finding the hits and shredding the health bar. Shulet is even sniping the approach with the air fireball. Can he do no wrong right now in this round? He hasn't okay. stopped pressing buttons Chunky. on his pad until his health bar kind of just disappeared. He turned into a magician on us. Definitely just rubbing his face across the pad during that whole time. That was actually insane to think about. Oh, does the sweep to go under the knives? I'd love to see it. That sadly gets hit by the, you know, the good old storm cell. Off the stagger to get the overhead afterwards. Why did it put him on the other side of him? You no, know, the world it, may never know. It hit him on the right, but he ended up on the left. Hey. This is a safe jump out the words. My God. 
Shaletta won the very first week this season, guys. Many moons ago, a couple of months ago now, with it with a few weeks skipped in this eight-week series. He won week one with Raiden and Kano here. That was a much different character, was doing a lot more damage on Chip, but as you can see here, still doing some great things, still playing the game, and still can catch oh, some buttons if you're not no. pressing on yeah, that one cell. Topic. The static, if you will, catching them. As he's walked forward with the, uh, you know, the little hats and the fireballs afterwards. Trying to teach this man's toes, but he's not getting done for the worst. The Kano ball coming through the overhead, smacking the bell. Hey, bay, bay, bay. Big shout out to Post. Stabby, stab, stab. Kano coming through. Chaletta. Looking like he might change this around. Going for the electric chair. Kano still keeps it safe, baby. Oh, he's going to get the one rotation, though. He gets the face. Oh, we know he's going to get breaker. He knew. Ah, uh, I don't know if I just need that decision. <gasps> oh, oh, no. No, it's, it. it's because Breaker was there, and there's nothing you can do beyond that point. Checkmate situation, I feel like Shuleta, as long as he had the Breaker, had nothing to fear that wasn't breakable, that wasn't going to kill him. You can just mash your ass off in that situation. He stopped the combo because if Shuleta would have broke, he would have put him full screen, and that's why he kind of stopped it right there in that first place, which I agree with. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it was really a problem though because it's like the situation afterwards like you need to kill that health bar it's just like what do you do he, he needed that throw, throw to work too. yeah that's the thing though is that he needed to throw to work great tech of the throw saved his life in the end so gotta give it to the defensive shaletta too nerf raiden really making it happen hold on will empress melina keep the peace we, we might need to still nerf this character if she will not am i crazy i mean round one Fight. And where's Ermac today? Yeah, where the hell is Ermac? Yeah. We guys going with him. I want to see someone get their soul sucked. Man. I don't know how to say that. But like, yeah, we need someone to see, see someone get their soul sucked. For real. Come on now. You say toes or souls? Souls. You know, toes, whatever needs to be sucked. You know what I'm saying? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. It's going to get complicated. Yeah, there's going to be certain people coming out in the chat. <laughs> They'll identify uh, themselves. Give, give the and, over. and there they are. <laughs> there they are. There they are. It is no AO. Seconds later. The full Diddy, okay? Diddler. Okay? I don't care. So down three tries to jump afterwards. And he's still not blocking. Oh, wait, he's dead. Stand for the fatal. Oh, he didn't go through. I would have possibly believed on a 950 as well. We saw that too, about 500 and some change earlier. Not a storm cell rotation, sweet. and look how he just has no fear of pressing a button right there with the negativity now. I I agree with the live audience, Tento. Never go full Diddy. Never go full Diddy. Hey, I'm sorry. Y'all made no Diddy a thing. I'm gonna have to let full Diddy rock. Cause y'all know me. I never pause. It's always play. Fuck Twix. Kick out all the way. Oh my God, that whip punish. And he gets a side switch too. Oh my god, your wreck's so good. Bars? Oh, no little bars. No candy bars. Oh my gosh. The sweep? The throw? No, I would've got hit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about getting that Kano back? Now he does. Can be feeling confident in the pressure sequence here? Yep. Means he can storm sell out. Play the health lead. Gets Kano back once more. Tries to charge a projectile, gets eaten up. Perversion, he misses it. What the firm is always needed, chasing him down. Does he go to a. Oh, he didn't do Dragon Tail? He got him out the air? No way! If that would have killed, what a highlight reel we would have just witnessed off of the conversion. Hold up on the throw and it kind of keeps you let it alive. Oh my god, we hold North, not pressure. Big shout out to Cormac. He's going to the North Pole. You know what makes sense? Sorry, snowing outside, so. I'm gonna go further. Fuck kicking the North. <laughs> There's only one man I'm willing to bend the knee to. That's a man that'll hold up. Oh, it's some hit advantage. Oh my goodness, in the full turn again, goes to cartwheel pressure. Hold on, you guys asked for the Raiden? So yeah, bring out the Raiden. He's bringing out the Raiden and it's showing that it still got a little sauce here. It's not as quiet as bad as you thought it was. Oh! 
Almost had another one there with the up, but didn't put a jump kick a little too early. Maybe was trying to OS into a Superman to get out of the corner. Look at that health bar still doing plenty of chip damage, I think. Oh, does it go flank? It got worse. Oh, no. Dragon Tail. That's dragon important. Tail, dragon Tail. Nice false puck. Dragon Tail. Is it under? Hold the head oh, once oh, again. Oh, right now. Couple mixes away. Get right at his life on the wake up armor. Oh, wait. He gets hit. It converted off the low height. Oh, it gets the throw off him. Brutal? No. That's brutal? I haven't seen that one. I think so. The whole body gets shocked. I would like to know if I'm not mistaken. I love that throw animation though, because Raiden, if you stare at Raiden during that throw animation, he looks like a like a swimsuit model for a second. Oh, we're gonna see oh, yeah. here. Let's go. He's, he's definitely posing. Yeah, look at him, look at him during the back throw animation here, guys. Raiden hits hits a pose for us. Blue steel. You ready? Hit it. Yo! <laughs> that was a perfect pause, Rick. Perfect pause, showing off the hat. Swimwear. By the Shaolin's. Yeah, we'll put out the Mortal Kombat swimsuit calendar next year. Janet Cage. The Gateway. And what are these Janet What's Royal Farms colors? What the heck? Girlfriend? It's been a whole month. 2 1 Shuletta trying to bring this back and save his loser's run with Raiden. Who we thought was recently put into the ground, buried, beaten over the head with a shovel, had his amulet taken, and shot with a, with a fully automatic Tommy gun. The Tommy gun is really, um. No, it's overkill, really I know. <laughs> the, the, the cherry on top. I was like, God damn, that was very discreet. I mean, discreet, or you know, whatever word it is. Dis descriptive. Yeah, thank you. See, you can always count on Yo, Jenny and Johnny? What was your word earlier? Aereo. Aero. Archaeotype. Archaeotype. That has to be something. Let's hit it with a splash attack. Archaeotype, go! What if that's a new type in Pokemon? That would be insane. They trademarked by me. You owe me so much money, Japan. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Playboy gets paper said Doritos are ass. Get the... Hold on. No. He said this is Cheeto country? Not around here, my friend. Nah, bro. Someone sniped that, man. There's get the no hell way. out of here. We had a whole debate on one Coliseum which Dorito bag was better. This man just said no. If I, if I was in a post-apocalypse, I would trade 1,700 bags of Cheetos for one bag of sweet chili Doritos. No cap. In, Give in, me the purple in, bag. In a, in a post-apocalyptic situation, even if there was no water Eva? available. Get out, bro, Eva, get out of here. Get out of here. Bro, give me that purple bag, bro. Give me the purple bag. That's the sweet spicy chili I'm talking about. That's exactly. The one. Purple bag, red bag, they all good. But especially that purple bag. Uh, again, in a post-apocalypse post -apocalypse situation, I would kill another man for a bag of sweet chili Boy, Doritos. I'm trading <laughs> the dog. The dog is getting traded for the Doritos, goddammit. Fuck it. Tento just lost a couple of <laughs> By any means necessary, goddammit. Also, by any means, Stiletta, he just killed this man, by the way, while we saw Oh, this is a 3 fight. 1 with Raiden! Talk about a shocker. <laughs> this man's saying green Doritos. What the hell is green Doritos? You know what? I'm sorry. Let me stop. Focus said, on the task at hand. Said, you can nerf me all. You can nerf my character all you want, but it doesn't affect me. I'm can we get Lotus different. in the chat. Let me get some Lodins in the chat, all right? Lodin. 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 Wins. Get wrecked. Wonderful season, man. Round of applause to get wrecked. That will be the you season. You guys might not be able to hear him. me for a second because my audio went out on my computer. Gotta wait 40 seconds. But up next, we're going to make a trip back up to the winner's side. We're going to have El Kakui. And Dexy Dog. If you, if you guys don't know, some people may learn this for the first time when I say it, but El Kakui and the Mighty Unjust, they're on opposite sides of the bracket, are twin brothers. Uh, uh, we can still hear you, Tento. Oh, he can't hear us. Got it. 
Anyways, like I was saying, I don't remember what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, the Mighty Unjust and El Kikui. Twin brothers, huge threats in this. And if you don't know, t being twins has been an unfair advantage since the dawn of time in these fighting games. They train together, they live together. Bad boys for life. They were born and bred in the crucible of Mortal Kombat. Absolutely insane. Ketchup and mustard, yeah. Case in point. Yeah. Ketchup and mustard. Mighty Unjust. Birthdays Elf were Kui. yesterday, by the way. Big shout out to them. Happy K Top and H Dope, who were both competing earlier. They had Scorp to play each other for two. Scorpion Prox and Nikolas. I'm pretty sure Revit Leafing and Young Monster back in the back in the day. K7 oh, has a twin. K7 Mystery does Business have a twin. has a twin. Yep. Aztec has a twin. Aztec has a twin. That's right. And then you want to go over Alpha Brothers in general in FGC? You got Honey B, B and, and Bio. Bio. DJT, DJT MIT. Connie Money Disarted. Yeah. Like Sonic Fox and um Quiggle. Their brother. Quiggle. VGY. Quiggle, yeah, Quiggle. VGY. And Josh. Uh, yeah, Josh. Like Brothers is Chico, bro. Guys. If we missed any, this will this will be a great conversation. And, and feel free to everyone in the future leave some comments if you guys know the answers to these. Uh, but name all of the all the big twins. And oh, Teaser Red Nose, yeah, I forgot about that. Teaser Red Nose too. Teaser doesn't play too uh, too much. Are they really? Brother, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, that. Teaser Red Nose. Uh, uh, Red Nose is younger brother. Slight Wolf, thank you for the subscription on Twitch as well. Thank you for the support here, man. We appreciate that. But we just burrito and forever king. Yep, man. Burrito and forever king. Forgot about that one as well. I Me feel like too. there's one more brother I'm missing. That was one of the OG ones too. I feel like I'm missing another brother. I knew some back in Injustice, but they, but most people won't recognize some of them, like Jupiter and Lance Monsoon. Most people didn't even. Oh know wait, Jupiter, Jupiter has a brother? a brother. Jupiter had a brother that also competed. Yeah. What? Yeah. You just blew my mind. I did not know that. With one of the coolest the names I've ever heard, Lance Monsoon. What the? F I did not know Jupiter had a brother. Or what the hell? Oh, yeah, Jupiter's look, doing well. Look, look, and sound like him too. Same. I miss Jupiter. Jupiter, one of our goats <laughs> in the NRS. <laughs> <laughs> could they hear you, Rick? They could not. <laughs> oh, they could not. Bro. Oh my god! Guys, this is this is the shit that people don't hear. Is that? Rick will just say shit in our ear and people don't hear it, but he's like, Lance Monsoon, that sounds like a porn name. <laughs> that's, all, that's, that's all we hear in our ear. Oh, we forgot, yeah, yeah, um, Aqua, um, Tekken Master and Tekken Legend. Oh my. Tekken, Le Tekken Master has a brother, yeah. I just there found is. that out too. Oh yeah, uh, Mike, Mike Groza and, and another Groza, right? For real? Mike and Mark? That's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike and Mark are twins. Ninja Killer and Tinto. You know what's crazy? Someone actually did think I was Ninja while I was playing them one time. Had the mic on and everything. I'm like, bro, me and Ninja do not sound like, hey, whatever floats your boat. Oh my God, torpedo anterior. Do it again. Reactionary aspect of it. Oh, he had to confirm. I'm not gonna kill with Fatal, but the situation afterwards. Down one of the Eagle is crazy. Oh, he tried to jump back to avoid it, but unfortunately the settlers are a little bit too strong. He went to DSW apparently. Can someone in the live audience do a live raw torpedo count? Please. How many raw torpedoes? Do you have? There's no way he ducked that right there, but gets the punish? No, he does not. The mix. Double stand four. Gets back to the corner. Throws out the glaive. Jumps back to avoid the glaive. It's El Kikui. And activates the force field. Gun shot to the face of the eagle. The Another. eagle and the eagle. And then we just saw the jade glaive anti-air. On the one real property of it where it goes, it goes up in its arc. 
to be the one thing that has ever beaten Melina Balrol in the game, and he went for the reset for the huh? kill, and that still didn't punish Melina Balrol. Does that punish Melina Balrol? Whoa, well, how did that not punish? Violet, you're turning Violet. That made no sense. Actually, well, that was actually a, a Willy Wonka reference if I put this on myself. I remember Charlie in the Charlie Factory, so, you know, I got it. I need to watch that movie now because it's a good, it's a good movie, man. The, the OG? The OG? Uh, what, not, not the OG OG, but the one with uh, Johnny Depp. Okay. About. 2004. I gotta rewatch the. Uh... That one too. No, the newest one I heard was pretty good, actually. I, didn't, I do want to rewatch yeah. yeah, the 2004 one. Uh, what's his name? Charlemagne? Charlemagne? With, with, with Timothy, Timothy Shalamanana? Yeah. Shalamanana? Yeah. 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 That was pretty good. Yeah, Shalamanana. Shalamanana. Yeah, Shalamanana. Yeah, Shalamanana. Yeah, Shalamanana. Yeah, Shalamanana. It wasn't bad. You know, the goat that was forever glazed by uh, old, old buddy in Doom? Naudib? <laughs> He's so humble. <laughs> Listen, Naudib! Listen, Naudib! Even in his presence, he's still so humble. He's the gold. <laughs> he is the chosen one. It is, one chosen it, is, <laughs> it is him. Listen, I like him. Listen, I like him. This motherfucker died. El Kakoi is dead. <laughs> oh my god. Much, 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 much. Oh wait, no, he's not dead. I forgot it's John Cena. He's he gonna hit him with the five knuckle oh, shuffle. Still. Wake up, Yanks Force Field. The one of the Raiders. Brother, he right did there. not go. Raw Eagle. Good block. Yeah, that's the G's. And he's going into the, in the <laughs> fatal, taking off the toes with the machine gun. And this will only be a one hope. Cool. Sending in the bird. Cool. Boom. Finish her. What a game one. Done the last hit. And peace! Ooh! Pumped into the air tonight. We got John Cena on the screen. We still owe these people two shots, Tento. Let's take another one. Oh, shit. I do get the wine. I'm out of, I'm out of liquor. Reposado is oh. gone, but I got wine. Okay. Now, I'll be the sacrifice. That's okay. Nah, I don't leave my mans hanging. I'm the best wingman ever. I almost knocked over every PS2 game that was next to me. Oh, my God. Baraka dude must be related. No, but we share the same affliction. Oh, yeah. that bitter wine. You guys say, share the same affliction being ugly. Yeah, yeah I said it. Every, every stand's gonna come after me. Oh, Kukui! What's going on, buddy? I don't know. Oh, did the pad die? Looks, looks like we're back. Did you, did you just take oh, a shot, Tento? Oh, wine. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, homie. This wine is bitter. Oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, Jack Sparrow's nipples. That is some good stuff. Back in the <laughs> back in the bed. <laughs> Dude, when the rum hits, the rum hits. The rum do be hidden. Why is the rum always gone? Because I drink it. And different liquor definitely brings out different than I will say that. Oh, can't get the punish to each other. Different liquor does have different effects on people. That's just a fact. Definitely. That's just a fact right there. Just, that's just like Pokemon, you know, elements. <laughs> Archaeotypes. <laughs> Archaeotypes. <laughs> Overneath it. That's a favorite word I've actually said on commentary ever. Bro, we have, we have a... Um, MK, I mean, well, Coliseum exclusive terminology. Yeah, we need our own dictionary. There's a reason why we have those, uh, um, those little dictionary quotes, descriptions on the side of the screen. You guys are gonna see Overneath there in Archeotype yeah, we need, we, really we, soon. We, we need to make one for Overneath. Archeotype. Oh my god, Torpedo all over the place. Was it that punishable, oh, or, did, or did he do another one? Uh, he just did another one. Why did that line make my chest hot? What the hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> Why? Well, my chest hot. <laughs> now this will be coming out. Give me a second. Wine? God damn it. Wine can be hard sometimes, man. Just can't be. Guys, thank you for being here. This is the Coliseum. 
sometimes we have some shots just to add a little bit of entertainment value here. We do like to do so very safely from the comfort of our own homes here. We got no plans after this. With the be safe, go to bed. Okay, nothing too tacos. crazy. And, and just enjoy some Mortal Kombat. Tacos do sound fantastic, though. I got you for tacos when you get here, bro. Don't worry. As soon as you come for Converse, don't even worry. I'm getting you tacos. But right now, this man, Kakoi, is giving this man torpedoes. He doesn't care. I, I am your father. Thank you for keeping track of the torpedoes that's been happening. It's been 11 so far. 11 raw torpedoes have hit so far. I'm your father. An MVP this season. A father who has rooted for his son this whole time. This is a man in our chat, guys. Behold him. Oh, man. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to talk and it came out. I was all sick. Speaking of, gro of what grown men do. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta let it out. I didn't know it was gonna come out. <laughs> I was trying to talk and I was all sick. Yeah, he had liquor, 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 and it was the wine that, that A get, gets his chest and gets some burping in his <laughs> <laughs> The wine. <laughs> Burping grapes. Hey, I What's apologize. Up, that was mighty roots of the chat. I apologize, okay? Low sides right back into it. Dexy, it's been tough, bro. Like, you know, what do you do about John? No, okay, never mind. He's doing cancels in his face. That's actually insane. Yeah, and he's got everything just better. Yo! At that full screen range, except when he's got the Rackley teleport there. Where easily just better than the low side, right? And the fact that he covers it with a launcher, even better. I didn't know he can actually do that. He can teleport through the, uh, the second gunshot. That's actually really good. Point. The block. Someone said that the dude's been spamming three moves. Hey, it, it, is, it, it is up to us to stop those three moves. Answer wasn't even a punish though. Just a reversal. That's nasty. He's the elf back, bro. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh, oh he got. Look, I didn't even know Sam looked right there. Is that killing? And it is. The down two. Carry swag. Katana helping her sister out there. Oh my god. He used Chameleon and Melina to cover up the jump. So I gotta ask you a question. What What do you do about that? Eagly you know, Melina. Do you, do you remember the PTG method? Yeah. yeah but. Pray to God. Pray to God, big shout out to Gross. Pray to fucking God, okay? And that's a method that some of you might need to implement if you want to be in this situation. That sucks. That just sucks. If you want to be in a situation in the future, you might also have to implement the PTG method, which is great. PTG. Do it. I will say that you, that you can see one of the nurse to Peacemaker in effect is how little force field lasts in comparison to how it was in the previous match. That said, the recovery is still sitting there pretty and non-existent. <gasps> you got Shim. But that could be it because he has Breaker. That's chance. But he still has corner. It's going to be easy until um, Melina talks. You got to be careful. Oh, no. We well, didn't get a conversion. Force field. Force field. All right, bird again. Bird is a word. 15 seconds left on the clock, though. In scary hours. Sigma moves. Good chip here. Dex is take oh, a risk, no. but the, no, no, the raw Eagly just changed everything. And that'll be all she wrote. One that Eagly eagle. Hit. He got life lead. That sucked, Aqua. Fight. Does it suck? No, you know right. It doesn't suck. Eagly. Yeah. No, no, it does. And that is a mix-up. If you guys think about it, you see a character dash up in your face like that, you assume that with how close they've gotten, they're probably going for something on the quicker side of things. And go for a crouch micro Doug Reed or something like that, and he does a quick overhead. That's what made that really effective at, at a high level, is people getting shimmied and looking for some micro ducks in situations like that. Nasty stuff, as El is working on the match point. Definitely so Dexter's got to work his way in. He's got a huge flight deficit, though, and he's getting zoned out. He's trying to look for a ball roll, but it's been so tough. Oh, there it is. That's my mean by it. It's so unfortunate. He's gonna die for this actually. Oh wait, not quite. I forgot Tento, to nerf the damage. Tento, you are a liar, my friend. Maybe I am. 
You are a, you are a, the lid is away. You are a cursor. <gasps> Point one He's waiting and he calls out the lift perfectly. And look how much damage he's doing. No, he, 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 he was looking for Stan Wolf for it to fail, but he drops the combo and Koi is gonna take it 3 0 no. over Dexy Dog. He dropped it! It was the kill. It was the kill. It was a weird situation though, because I know for a fact he was thrown off by the gravity. When he did 2-1-2, two, two, you're so used to doing ball roll before that. And the Sam 4, as you can see, like when he gets hit, when he hits it, slightly above. Slightly above because you're so used to using uh, all the gravity already because you do a ball roll combo. But he started off that combo with an air combo. Big shout outs to Marvel 3. Crazy work. Damn. El Kakui will look to set up what might be a blockbuster of a winner's finals if we get it. Could be a twin off. torpedoes. But up next will be the Mighty Unjust versus Hourglass of Rain and Hourglass of Rain looking for, I think, some vengeance. Going back to last season that the Mighty Unjust won here in the Coliseum. The Mightiest Justice is going to be up next going against Hourglass of Rain. You guys know this. This is a classic, okay? We have seen this time and time again on multiple of the channels, but there can only be one. Will we get the faded brother on brother grand final? I'm sorry, when is final? Or, or I glass rain. Put a stop to that. Does he have some words for um, the mightiest Justin? Yo. HDX Bone says that the match reno gets to 1700. I'll get it to 1800. Ooh, that's only another hundred dollars. Oh, another ninety-five dollars. Let me do some 95 actual math. Bones. I will try not to do any more great birds, but I will try to finish this wine bottle. We got one more to to, to put us even. Should we knock it out now? Or sh should we just get flush right now? Tento, knock it out. I mean, got the wine bottle. Are these two different people? It's the same match. Oh my god, it's a Molina Peacemaker finale, baby. Don't we strap yourselves in. We, we we should have realized looking at semifinals what we were in for, huh, Tento? Yeah, you know, the tail was, the tail was paid. You know, it was like, it's going to be Molina. It's going to be Peacemaker. But we do get a shout out to the chat doing the thing. Much love to every single one of you guys. Showing love to the Coliseum day in and day out for season number six. We're going to crown our champion tonight. But first, we have a cheers. Cheers, honey. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. That's actually not a good sign. Gunshot out the word is crazy. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So they're going for Torpedo Activate Force Field, and guess what? Jonathan's doing the thing. It's called Mix. Low Dark. It's a Torpedo. Corner goes for armor and hits oh, a on the way out. Yeah, he is gravity. He torpedoed something, all right. Oh, oh now we torpedo the classic. I see cookies in my future. And suck it, got him with the DX towards the end. Fine. One of my favorite pumps in the game as well. Still a great trade. Far more damage for Unjust. Now has the lead, already built the bar up to three bars. Couldn't ask for a better situation. If you're the 64-time ESL Mortal Kombat 11 champion, that is not a stat that is close to being wrong. Oh my gosh. Over here afterwards. It's called? No, stand four. Force field. Force field. Just not wanting to get close to, well. to the buttons of Molina right now. Staying out of that one two range, you betcha. Doesn't want to deal with those sides whatsoever. He just wants peace. He just wants I want peace. peace. I want problems. No peace always. Where no peace? What? No did, peace. Did, did, problems did see, always. Did you, did you see Eagly like scoop up at the last second? What the fuck? He would just be doing whatever. I've, I've never seen him do that before. Can you control Eagly to make him go up? Can he? 
Did they buff him inside? Unless I'm tripping. Pretty sure I saw that. Whoa. Luckily, that blow dart doesn't anti her full screen. Otherwise, we'd, we'd be having a problematic situation right now. A real problematic situation. The problematic situation right now is oh, this man, Hourglass Rain, getting full combo for a mistake that he should have made. Counter hit once again, wave and more gunshots. So much shit being added up. Rats pack, what you gonna do? Wait a second, gonna get a ball roll for the Hard knockdown. You got three bars to work with him, just what you do. Wakes up arm one time, doesn't get the punish. <laughs> what a comment from the live audience. Someone said this man Mighty Unjustice currently playing for That shit's actually mad. <laughs> Shooting away. And someone said you, you've apparently always been able to do that with Eagle. Which I did not know. To be able to control him, send him up. He's saying the big fat's gonna get sniped, doesn't go for Torpedo afterwards, but goes for gunshots because he knows Torpedo's gonna kill after this. And guess what? A GG scenario, make him explode. Oh, never mind. It's because it hit too high. That's that's scary. You hit the man too high that your 700 active frame torpedo still couldn't hit. First world problems. First world I'm problems. Sorry. Hey, the comment makes me laugh the more I think about it. This man really is playing he is, Cuphead. He is playing Cuphead. <laughs> the more I'm thinking about pew, pew, the pew, comment, pew, pew, like... Pew, 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 pew. That's, that's all I think. All right, pew, that's pew. a wrap. <laughs> Shoot him up. So Hourglass of Rain and the Mighty Unjust made it to winner's finals of the last season of the Coliseum. But it was Tweety who ended up taking it over Hourglass in loser's finals. So Hourglass got third last season and trying to turn things around. Another dono. $50 from the struggling Black says, drink some water, please. Tento, oh take God. over for a moment. Struggling Black, I will listen to you. I actually forgot my water uh, today. It's not right next to me. I'm going to go grab it because of you. Thank you. And for your $50 Yo, contribution. Bestie, Cheers. thank you so much for the $50 donation. And just because you said drink water, I'm not drinking water. I'm drinking more wine. Hey, Rick, if you want to put the, if you want to put the camera on me once again so I can do this out of spite because she said this. Cheers. Ah. Big shout out to you, Bestie. Appreciate you so much for the $50. Hey, no one said about anything about hard-headed. He's out the way. Oh my god, this man's getting jumped by Eagle and a man. Never mind, you know he's coming through. Oh my god, the air ball run, that's gonna do it. Hourglass of rain. Strike a first blow with that round. Round two. Yo, big shout out to Chad. Big shout out to Rick, by the way. Um, just putting up with, through us with uh, production. Thank you so much. To be honest. I have a great time doing this shit. Half of our broadcast is messing with Rick. <laughs> no, literally. Hey, change the song again, Rick. Fuck you. Hey. That fucked him so hard yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. Struggling, thank you. you Rick, bro. Thank you for making me drink some water. It was absolutely delicious. I'm a fancy son I'm a, I'm a fancy son of a bitch. Hey, 420 on 421. We love to see you. And cheers to everyone that watched our final qualifier yesterday on 420. <gasps> that was the startup of a glow! He actually got shot. I know Hourglass is actually confused. He thought the glow was going to come through in time, but no, he got shot in the head by the Deagle. Unjust. Sniping him. <laughs> Out of the ball, dude. Things are being beat right now that have not been beaten before. Plus, they won't get the poke. Close for a little side afterwards. No, oh, misses it this time. Gonna, oh, that's gonna be a punish. That's so unfortunate. I'm just didn't get it. He has a force three bars. Eagle. Force field. Some more up. Force field. That's one of his own, but it was not yet just who said, okay. It's one of the curses of having one of those anti projectile force fields active guys is that your tendency is not to block. And all over his hourglass of rain, who is looking for some fences to activate him with him to kill? On the big boy, hits him. No, he hit him with a piece of his own medicine right there. Okay, he was sick of his own shit right there. Throw another eagle and sigh at me, motherfucker. That's what he just said. And sorry to curse a lot, guys. This is Mortal Kombat. But he said, throw another eagle and sigh at me, my friend, because I can kind of do the same sometimes. Which hey, is that my that friend sounded kind of passive aggressive. 
that my friend was kind of passive aggressive, Aqua. I don't know. Hey, I've seen him block too... forty-seven eagles into Psy just in this <laughs> game alone. It might be personal. <laughs> might be a tad bit. But he gave him a taste of his own medicine right there, and that's what you and that I was trying to get to in a very savage no, way. But we share the same affliction. And these two have to be talked about as two of the biggest threats in North American competition right now. Going into Combo Breaker. Going into, I mean, next weekend, Hourglass of Rain will be a Texas showdown. And in my opinion, even though Hourglass hasn't competed offline, Hourglass is probably the favorite. Him and Dylock. That's the awesome, like, strong for sure. That's going to be good in those matches where I was like, I really hope, because Hourglass, I know, is most likely going to be going to Combo Breaker as well. His father can confirm mm -hmm. to me in the chat. And um, I, I feel like uh, Texas Showdown would be a great, like, a practice run. Perfect. Because you don't, you, you don't want to be able to, you know, like, go into your first offline be, like, such a big stakes for you to try to make it into Final Combat. So, yeah. Round two. Full string. This is a decisive game number three, by the way. We're gonna go up in the set, and right now it's looking like Hourglass can go for the mix. God damn. Safe jump. Never mind. Not safe at all. It's armor. Ah, there's that curse of the side not going full screen. Trying to get yeah, Cena, aka Peacemaker, such an advantage there full screen. I mean, force field doesn't even matter. He's still gonna be able to outzone at that distance. Causing to close the gap a lot freer than otherwise would. And there's what we see so much from this man in particular. Only Hourglass can see that low side conversion. Bust him up with the projectiles. I just needs a miracle now. Hourglass can take a visceral lead of this set if he's able to close out now. Catches a force field two with the ball roll. And that's gonna be all she wrote. Two one now for Hourglass. A brain who's looking to take control, not just of this set. He's trying to take control of the Hourglass and of the whole entire timeline, man. The whole thing. Who would have thought? You know, I actually got to look at Peacemaker's ending on the game. Actually, I didn't think about that. What does he? What does he do with Hourglass? Does anyone know what Peacemaker does in his ending? And we yeah, actually, violence. someone spoiled that for me. Actually, I actually want to know. Like, that's mad random. But what does John Cena want with the Hourglass? Peace. Yeah, you know, actually, what am I talking about? You're definitely right. He wants he, this. Okay, he does what Liu Kang doesn't, which is bring peace to the realms. How is Liu Kang going to fuck it up this badly? No, let's be serious. The intro to the game is, I made this universe, you know, to be peaceful. Blah, blah, blah. And then it's instant war. Yo, HBT Warrior, my goat is in the chat. Yo, cheers, my guy. Cheers, history behind the warrior. Round one. He was commentating on the pro comp earlier as well. If you guys caught the EU East side of things, probably doing well over there, man. And go to bed. It's too, it's really late for you. Oh yeah, it's like um 2 a.m. Hey, it was so funny when um EU had their uh, like their first qualifier, and I was like, okay, I, I mean no, UFA had their first like event, and I was like, you had to wake, I had to wake up at like 7 a.m. And then immediately HPT was like, yeah. It's about that time that you finally have to suffer like I do. That's what that and was hilarious. Mate, that was the hilarious. Mate <laughs> had me dying, bro. I was like, okay, I'm sorry, you were waiting on this whole time. Dude, I remember that when he was like, it's about time y'all motherfuckers experience this. Dude. He's like, it's not so fun, is it? Oh my god. What just... the hell? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that clip is so funny, bro. Unjust is going back to season number five of the Coliseum into this Reiko pick, which is I think what he used against Unjust when they played months ago in that in that finale. Yeah, Reiko in this pick is definitely good because because the EX uh, the EX projectiles does it does so much coverage when it comes to full screen when it comes to the jumps. So I definitely agree. And actually the extra help just to deal with the situations and he can go for the hand grab afterwards is too good. And gets the raw ball roll, but drops the combo. He could have won. He could have won. He could have won. Gets the low side, but gets conversion this time around. Doesn't need to spin fatal, but he wants to make sure he secures the deal by doing so. Sam four, taking it and puts himself on set point. A win here would be a potential changing of some guard. 
And the most crazy stat that no one has won Coliseum seasons back to back. This is our sixth season. And the only person with a shot right now is this man, the mighty unjust. He won season five beating Hourglass of Rain. So we might be seeing a tectonic shift in the plates of competitive MK here. If Hourglass can close it out, he gets a gorgeous whiff punish in the recovery Bro, that man that was jump not kick. blocking those two times. I know he's mad over that one, but wait a second, reading the uh, low side this time around, and because he put that bar, no time to break at all. Punch, 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 meek, 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 that boy is down. Goes for command grab raw, but that's not gonna work. Why? Because it's a stiletto in your face with the ball roll, the knockdown. Wake up one, two, the man doesn't care. Low slide and command grab? No, under the meek, meek, meek. With a beat down. You need new I can't wait for about four months from now, Tento, when Reiko does get those spear moves that we were talking about and, and, and that we're in invasions. And other characters get other moves. I think that that's what's coming. I, th I think that's the wave. And look at the response of this patch where new moves came into play. Some spiciness was added. I hope that Netherrealm stays on that wave and rides it, baby. Cow Cowabunga. Cowabunga dudes, okay? Cowabunga. Cowabunga dudes. Hulko. Oh, oh, no. Close to uh, uh, EX to start calling. I'm just need to take the support to game five, but the problem is Hourglass of Rain. Oh, this is it. Goes for too far for the though. conversion. You gotta extend his combo so we can get Trimmer back in time. Oh, he's not gonna be able to get Trimmer back. Not fully really there. And baits out the armor. Didn't get the conversion though. One, two, three. Down poke, nice wall blocks. Goes for EX side. The ball roll would not do it. You cannot steal another round for me in Aqua. You got oh. such another sudden death situation. Unbelievable. Oh, the flames. Weird. It's been a while. About to be ignited once more. These two players, these two titans, I mean, the two favorites, I feel like, right now, of the players left and given what happened in the previous season. It wouldn't be any better of a story or tale to tell in the future from now. And to this battle, this fight, we go down to a game five. A sudden death in the Coliseum. And we get in a game five with the flames igniting in the Coliseum. A sudden death. This man picks Shuchinko. Oh, do you guys not know? So, with the Zinko yeah. being, he actually steals from this point in time. He, um, he, he can actually uh, tick throw over stand one, down one, down three, and stand two. It's actually a mix. Hey, Unjust, you don't let this man get in there. And it can combo afterwards. I haven't tested that with Melina yet, but if it does, it's Jesus Christ. I know in the corner everyone can combo afterwards. I don't know mid-screen. Starting off with 344, though, Unjust says, ain't going to matter. You got to get no that old man charged and active. No <gasps> misses it. They get the punish though. Thinking magic that was so unconventional where oh, he ended up and he knew that duck was nah, so smooth. he's too good tento he already knew the adaptation and this is mighty unjust starting to take over though so, actually, actually i'm gonna give you the buck huh you might just Fine. sent this man off i wouldn't even say that in the chat I yeah even that, admit it's that. The, the fact that the mighty unjust already knew means ggs <laughs> Probably want to side switch right there. We'll get it anyway with 410 on the board. Wait a second. So I can't arrow glass out yet. The big damage. Jump again. Boom. Is all of a sudden sitting very pretty. Okay, I'm going to say he's going to take a full Jujinko. No. The next round is now off a of half a Jujinko. No. Okay. The entire was too good for Munjust. Couldn't convert in time. All right. Final game, final round between these two in the sudden death to see who is going to be fighting for Koi in the winner side. Get the ball roll. Get the charge up super Jujinko. Oh, he said namaste. And how did Unjust read that when 1 2 is, a, is, is available for Molina? You know what I mean? Like single poke into a crouch state. Letting go a block is hard to do when you're fighting Molina. Let's see if he's going to put himself in that same situation again. If he can close the gap and force a guess into what could be a command grab from the Shujinko that's fully loaded. That's what he steals. Also the parry, which isn't really crazy. Mm -hmm. Went for jail. Plus. 
Fails it. Command grab jumps it, but doesn't get to mm, can get the follow up. Stay up one to tick. And oh my god, look at the damage on this, by the way. Oh my god, I never saw the damage on this. Jesus Christ, 34 almost for that. The shove. Shajiko wasn't available. My life for shout. So the problem is, if he slides into the DM for the game, he can actually do it and he can actually win. So you gotta just be careful. One more game. Puts on the armor though. Yo, it just says, I sit side to the deal. It's not gonna kill because I forgot. It's close to 100 health because of Shijinko, but man, this situation how is actually kind of dire. How smart was that though to make it unpunishable? Essentially, because of the of the uh, tremor armor. Exi. I mean, yeah. Now chip um, unjust. Starts. One away. Puts on the armor once more. He's gonna come yeah, in. Yes. And nothing right. could stop him. That was so galaxy brain. The mighty unjust. The champion. The season, our previous champion, who put himself in a position once more when he was down, but guess what? Not out to put himself in a position once more to be a Coliseum champion. That was so good. It was so good. To and beat hit, that bowl. And then, and then hit Hourglass somebody. with his own saying. Oh, wow. He hit Hourglass with both of his own sayings. Skip, 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 skip. Oh. Instantly. Bro, to hit that man with a run up and to slide into DM is actually insane. Yo. Armored up on a Sunday afternoon. Crazy work. Coming in like hey, the water boy. Protection before sliding in, you know? Coming in like the water boy. No fucks given. Undubla, Antangata. Antangata. <laughs> <laughs> Our winner's finals is set. Would you look at that? A couple of twins. A couple Mess of me twins. Messing up a bracket. It wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without it, but it'll be a while before we see them. When we come back, we'll have a couple of losers, losers matches and a little bit of a break for all of us players, guys. It's the Coliseum Season 6 finale. We got some more matches coming up. We'll go over some of the sponsors and some of the stuff that we got going on here at Coliseum. When we come back, don't go anywhere. More Mortal Kombat on the way. Let me relax. Stop assuming what we doing. What we doing. Keep it moving. What we doing. What we Cause it can get. There you go. Cause it can get. There you go. Cause it can get. There you go. Hey, please don't play no games with me. I promise I'm too much. Hey, I can never let up even if you had enough. Hey, this ain't for the faint of heart. We always playing rough. I had enough. It ain't luck. I needed a vision. I needed a vision. I needed a mission to be the submission with no intermission. I see the collision. The crash of the distance ain't coming off track. No. Why when they ask what the motive? Don't talk about the show. They all about to see what I mean in the moment. I got to keep going. I'm shaking the dice and I'm tipping the rolling. They already know. Ain't got no other plans. You don't need to understand. Hey, we on overtime. You don't need to understand. Hey, you just show them how to do it when you don't know what to say. Tell me how you plan to win if you plan to play. Moving fast, already gone. Yeah, but you bringing me back. 
Try to double cross me, dog. Mm. Just let me relax. Stop assuming what we doing. Mm. Keep it moving what we doing. Cause it can get bigger. Cause it can get bigger. Man on a mission, I'm a kid, and you know I be on a way. Welcome back to the Coliseum. Presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. Man on a mission, I'm a kid, you know I be on the way. Yeah, it's all hard, ain't no fear here. You ain't giving this to all you steer clear. Never beat, I've been down and I reappear. Yo, welcome back to the Coliseum season number six for the finale here. The Final Coliseum? Season? You know... Listen, you had to redo it so I could redo it so you had to redo it so I actually took the back. Welcome back to the Coliseum, presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. Welcome to the Coliseum. Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. Welcome back to the Coliseum, presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. You had to worry about the pump. Oh my god, I did it again. No, we did it again. I'm done. There you go. Hey, here at the Coliseum, we improvise at all times, but sometimes things don't go our way. Yo, welcome to the number six of the Coliseum, the season finale here. <laughs> our host is gone because he laughs too hard. We're going to get some invites out, but thank you guys so much for the support. The match arena has been going crazy. YouTube has been going crazy, and Twitch has been going crazy as well. Thank you guys so much for the support day in and day out. And guess what? The bracket is looking very lively, but we got to take a trip downstairs to that lower side of the bracket. Aquaman's got to wipe his tears, but the bracket is right there on display. Hourglass Range Gillette is going to be going down there, and also Dexy Dog and Bandinos. And up top in winner's finals will be Ilka Koi and the Mighty Unjust. Yes, the twins will be going at it. But we shall see that very soon because right now we got to check to see who is going to leave out of this bracket. Oh, crap. Why did I say all crap? Hit the Matarina button, Rick. Hello? Wait, what happened? Another oh! $100 can't, comes in from Pie Flavor. Thank you so much. The comment says shout out to Tento. So that was, that was for oh. you, Tento. Uh, shout out to me. You know what? That's and what let me get the wine, dude. I'm a little. But but what that means is X Bones said that he would get us to 1800, which means we do two more. Yep. It's one of those nights. It's one of those nights. It's, it's one of those nights. Truthfully is. Coming up next, Dexy Dog and Bandinos. We're getting that King of the Hill together, guys. And while we wait on that, we are going to take a drink for another $100 donated to the prize pool here at the Coliseum. Going to all of the players, straight to the players. We keep none of that. We just sit here, have a good time, enjoy some Mortal Kombat while these players make bank tento. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit, man. Ain't, ain't, that, <laughs> ain't that Ain't some that shit. some goddamn shit, Ain't bro. that some fucking shit. All right, cheers, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great night. Damn, it just updated <laughs> right there. What? It just updated. I just saw it updated in real time. I wasn't ready. I like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Uh -huh. uh, how's that? Did, did I just miss an invite because I was drinking? Okay, cool. We're good. We're still, get, we're, still, we're still getting this one together, guys. This is Dexy Dog Bandinos. Um, another one where Bandinos, you know, has fought Hourglass before, didn't really feel the rain. Tento went with Luke Kang in that matchup. Might feel differently playing against someone that he plays against less, right? Hourglass is his literal teammate. And he tried Rain out of the gate. Could, could be a coin toss in this one. 
could definitely be a 20 toss. But going against one of the best leaders in the business can definitely be a bit of a thing. But, you know, having um, Hourglass Rain being one of your teammates can definitely does help that for real. Oh, Bandito's already gave it OS in the chat. He says, I don't even like ben, um, Melina versus Rain. It's crazy. And Aquaman agreeing. I don't downplay. You, you, know, shit. you know, I'm not one to downplay, but I agree. I don't like Rain versus Melina either. And I don't know why. That's the thing. Spare my life and I'll do penance. But I, I mean, I know why, but I'm not going to say it live to try to hurt him in tournament right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's just, let's just say that a certain something can punish a certain something, and I don't like it. Closing in on two thousand dollars for that match reader. We appreciate you guys so much for actually just making the donation come through, through and through. One thousand eight hundred dollars and fifty-five. Wait, one thousand eight hundred and fifty-five dollars is what we at right now. Thank you guys so much. Grabbing them. Let's get him. Dexy rocking it out with the chameleon. I really wonder why I'm thinking about like the uh, how much the Jade, how much does uh, glow in the gate? Um, most of rain stuff actually i don't know what about rain stuff like what uh what is what does jay glow um actually go through for rain um everything but geyser oh okay no. yeah that's the only thing that you got to really worry about is is a geyser once you get into kind of that half screen range where five or far geyser can be a threat because not a lot of people are going to be blocking and looking for something like that like right there if you would have four dashed into a far geyser or even far geyser right here I might catch him off guard while he's sitting there in the glow. Another save jump, another mid check. Three mops. Oh no, not blocking for long though. It's a gen for a spin. Three seven nine. That. Green janitor. It's every touch. I'm waiting for a back dash at the back three cancel. Oh wait, we're gonna cancel. And that's max damage right there. Four, two, one, and a four, two, one. That's money. And those are those hit advantage and cancel changes that Rain has now, where he can just get so much damage and so many cancels. No. And self hit confirms that are safe on block, but Dexy Dog, if he can get some damage on the board, it's only 122 off a throw. Bro, that did less damage than the actual throw. That sucks. Oh, it is doing more. Barely. It's definitely doing more. Barely. That one almost got cooked. <gasps> got him with the glade, but here's another break. Janet coming through for the assist with the pose afterwards. Throws up the dirty bubble. Wait a minute. We can't even meet her. Pepto-Bismol rain. Sets up the Janet in the, in the wall that he can't get past during the timeout. That's he, down too. Just, that was beyond galaxy brain. He was in another universe, guys. That's all I can say. If you can, Rain has a really good down too, actually. Clip that because he put up a wall. The only way over the wall is to jump over. He was looking for it, and yes, at a certain distance, the down two is an unholy god tier anti air. I told you to take the wizard stop! Yeah, you definitely take the wizard stat because you almost have 500 for that. Gets to cancel, it has to break immediately. Going for the low poke, but wait a minute, gonna get punished for it. He might be dead off of this, actually. Oh, no, man. He does have Janet. Uh, oh, that, that was a meaningless 325 off the Janet pickup. Two into the throw and. Oh! No, no cojones. Your eyes are gone. And just give it the sunglasses. Cancelled. Insane. That ain't right. Oh, that ain't right, he says. Look at this. Awesome grab break. How smart is this? Because he heard the timer get under 10 seconds, that's what made it that galaxy brain. It's because he said, hey, the only way you're going to kill me is to get over this wall. Uh, Bendo gotcha. Asked to, Bendo asked him to re uh, make the call if possible. Yeah, sure. Let's see about that. Let's see about that. Just remember to invite all of us, Bando. Every single one of us, including our producer, our wonderful producer. Make sure you invite him, please. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> we can 
continue our run here through the loser side of things. The loser of this will end their run. But still be getting a good chunk of 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 the prize pool. Everyone that made the you know this finale, that won a tournament this season, got into the money. The clams, the chowder, the good stuff. Yes, it will. Big shout to Gamer. Oh, Legends. I, hope you've been I well, actually bro. got a crossplay error on that one. Oh, dude. Hey, turn off crossplay, um, Bandino. No wonder why I use that 150. Well, Gamer Blake like, well, asking, since King of the Hills are compatible with crossplay now, will future brackets utilize that? Yes, and so did our final qualifier yesterday, Gamer Blake. We actually let crossplay rock uh, and didn't have many issues at all. It was nice. That, yep. is the, that is the Gamer Blake. That's Gamer Blake 90. Yep. From for, Yo, from those days, right? What up, from Yomi. Blake, good to see you again, man. From Yomi. Hope all is well, dude. Watch his Ninjutsu Scorpion was a treat. The neutral. Dude, what a god. Man. Back when he was named Jago Blake and had a really good Jago. Yeah. In KI. That was crazy. What if he just pops up to um combo break and just wrecks everybody in KI? <laughs> oh dude, he, he he might with the announcement. Ten thousand dollars, bro. It's five world tour events at um, Combo Breaker now. That is actually insane. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, it, Combo Breaker is like, if you guys can make it to Combo Breaker last minute, if you can, like, please go because it's going to be actually. What the hell? I would argue it might be better than Evo. When I can't possibly trust you. No, thank you. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Gamer Blake says I got my tickets for Sonic Three, and that's about it, buddy. Leave me alone. Oh, Mr. Punish, that's so unfortunate for Ben. You know, that's gonna maximize on the damage. Oh, wow. He moved forward enough for the down one to hit Chameleon. Otherwise, the Jade Blade was coming back to bite him, I think. That was such an odd, specifically tight thing, and so was the triple Janish on 475 damage. Oh, my gosh. 475 was insane, and now we're pretty much leaving, even on life right here. This is a team that when it hits you, makes it feel like you've fallen off a waterfall. Oh, max damage for real. No, nothing that's the worst. Thought touch was coming. Patience again. I think he's waiting for Mal uh, Malusia Ball Road. Huh? Uh, the throw is gonna kill. Big Haymaker. Keeps the lead. Looks like, the connection, looks like on my end anyway that, that the connection has cleared, cleared up quite a bit. The cancels are actually Why? This, and this is where they're peak scary, Tento. In the corner, because he can backdash. Because he can backdash into the back three. Oh my god, it, it came on command. And if he backdashes into the back three, guess what he can do? Cancel it into whatever the f he wants, Tento. Whatever he wants, into whatever damage he wants, whatever route you want to take. Freedom of expression, baby. Such a beautiful tech coming out of the deck. Oh, gets him out of low. That's gonna be a lot of damage. I don't think he's gonna have breaker in time. I think he actually might die for it. Never mind, because then he don't drops. He's not clutch. He's not ready for prime time. Gets the throw? No, I would have got Shimmy right there. I'm not gonna lie to you. But gets the down focus. Chip is gonna be a big issue. Nice flawless block. Beautiful stagger. Gets the low. Bandino's has three bars of break, but decides not to because he knew Bandino. I mean, Dexy was gonna drop the combo. Puts up the wall. And once more, trying to put him in a checkmate situation. Dexy, how's he gonna get around Janet? Janet off the screen now. Oh boy, seven health to his knee. Gets through. Teleport on reaction. And Neil still has three bars to break. It's gonna finally break right here after the fatal blow. Never mind because it drops. No gravity was allowed. And there goes his Cabeza. This is the most that we've ever seen Reigns Brutals, I think, ever. Hitting two of, the, two of the string ones. But what makes Brutality so rare and hard with a rain is that you have to kill with either just a grounded straight string like that, or that's that's it. That throw down to all the other ones are so unique and weird that you don't really see them often in competitive play. Shouts of Bandinos for showing off some of, the, some of the cool things that Reigns got. In the arsenal. Round one. Like putting a water over your head and just ripping your face off because of it. Because that checks out and got him with something completely new. Forward one two on block, which is pretty negative, Tento. 
but just got away with it into the 1-1, one, one, assuming and looking for the hit confirm because it's so new. But it's a back throw combo because the Mimi came through with the katana. Beautiful fake jump afterwards, the throw. It's another restand. It's a check. Nice tech. Hello. The meter can he's getting. Throws up the mind wall once again. If you guys do not know how the mind wall works, it takes a couple of hits from uh, anything that comes about, and you have to. It's really tough, but you can't jump over it. But she legit has the wall in front of her. It's great for zoning out options and just trying to go for meter build. As the rain meta develops. <laughs> Near side. Oh my goodness. Near side seen them get way more cancel heavy, I feel like, because you can do a cancel out of your projectile into a rain god. You can cancel that. Go into pressure, cancel that as well. Crazy things that you can do with this character moving forward. Definitely so, and it looks like Dexy's having a tough time. I mean, a really bad tough time trying to deal with this. All oh, the cancel once again has to break. Yep. Before rain can only really deal with the you know button. Oh my! And no, strings of Molina no, with it down. Three, no. But that new normal to be able to back dash and advance forward like that really changes everything. To get a whiff punish like that, Vento. No, he legit made that man look stupid with the down one and then went for a back three again. Is this, my, is this match though. point? Dude, he's feeling double match point. Oh, beautiful. That's my brick. Bandino's. He can take the damage. Because he knows the next hit can't kill him. That's all he's looking for. He just went for a ball over here. The four charge, guess the game. Never mind. Right, not no. <laughs> uh, that's, that's just GG's, I think. Yeah, ch Chip, Brother. anything to block right now? That's what I'm talking about the Jada, but the flawless block just kept him alive. And it's going to get it traded. Trying to get the mid onto the screen. And when you can execute at the highest level, Janet Rain does absurd damage off of every touch, almost everywhere. Oh my goodness. I thought the combo was over. I thought he was going for setup. The man said, nah, bump that. I am definitely going to go for the kill. Yeah, you and thought. That's exactly what he did, bro. Off of the overhead, that setup was just insane. If you didn't afford to into the that. geyser, potentially could have killed right there. Depending on the scaling, but either way. The damage that that combo did was enough. Full That's access to all of the arsenal of rain. That's what I said earlier when talking about rain Janet. You saw the full water charge, the rain god pickups, all in one combo. Everything just worked before. Personally, if I ever got hit by rain Janet, I'd put the pad down. You know what? If I knew you someone had the execution to hit the combos, because whew. <clears throat> that's one that scares me in. And then anywhere on the screen, it's a it's a team that can two tap you, which is a different pressure to be feeling in these fighting games. All right, now we got a battle of the young guns being Shaletta and Hourglass of Rain going at it to see who is going to be fighting Bandinos in that loser semis, and that will set up the top four after this match is completed. It's about that time to find out. Time will tell. Shaletta, you know, Raiden got, you know, Raiden got, Raiden got a little dusted. He's rocking out with the Kung Lao. However, he blew it out the Raiden in the last match. And it did do some wonders. And it so did. It did wonders. So we, got, we got to see. Will he go back to it? Oh, no. He's sticking out with the Kung Lao. The Kung Lao with the tattoos at that as well. Goro, tomb of the Dragon Heart. I'm really shocked, no pun intended, that we're not seeing the Raiden based on the last performance. But it has to be a matchup thing. Even before the patch, Hourglass did really well against Raidens. Something about, I guess, a little bit of early risk there from Hourglass. Unconventional. Tight spot here. Resources here for Shletta. Overhead. Look at the damage on this, by the way. 
Kuma, Kuma has an armor break, so he's really good at shutting people down in the corner there, too. Lena, not the quickest wake up armor. I think it's the, it's the stand four, right? Of Kung Lao's that has, the, has a double hit to it? Oh, stand three. Stand three. Oh, down four. Wait a second, gets the overhead this time around. Goes for Shaolin Shimmy. Chip should be an issue. Flawless blocked the first hit, but did not guess right. Round two. Chip is only negated if you block a red man. You definitely did not block a red man. Right now, you're going for another ride. Corner to the corner, coast to coast. Break the rib cage. God damn. Oh, tried to grip him, but no, stands up. Hey, huh? Who, huh? who just stands on reaction like that to Kung Lao? Who always has the low opener right there? Who, who doesn't have the, the overhead on that? He still held that. Actually, I just realized this is the first time in a minute we've seen Power Blast go to Kung Lao. Uh, with the I just watched Goro get cooked again, man. He went through Goro. Full combo with him there. And Hourglass. Toss him to the corner for some added pressure here. As we didn't think. A player of this caliber would be in a situation like this this early in losers. Oh, that's not lost, the, no. lost the final round, though, just. Can make sure I'm not it. Yeah, this is the final round. That 4 4 being minus 7. Kung Lao, one of those people that. Uh, one of those characters that people tend to forget that he does have a 6 framer being his back one. Beautiful. Ah. Ooh, catch you. Back roll back here. Yo, low option. Sweet. <laughs> Simple but effective. And always sexy looking. Sweet combos. Over an option. It was such a late cancel. You don't even expect it to be cancelable, let alone with armor. That late after blocking it. That would have got me too, I think. Or two in the EX challenge, Jimmy is definitely going to seal the deal. So let's take game number one over Hourglass of Rain. Lose a side action, by the way. After you out, that bro, when you lose, you turn off your console, you sit there, you got to get ready for school tomorrow. It's crazy because both these boys got school. School tomorrow. to work. Fi school to work. 50 50. No, 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 no. no. These bo both of these boys got school tomorrow. They're both like, they're both up to age 18. Actually, crazy to think about. Kento, in this economy, school of work. I'm telling you. You, you did. You did. You did. To honor my family's legacy. What's up, Cupcake? He's gonna fight fire with fire here. Take down 1 0. Oh. oh. Stabby stab, stab, take the ass to the corner. And immediately tries to go for the Shaolin Shimmy once again, but he says, nah, I'm not doing that. He comes back, he just knows. Go red. And with Shuletta. Thought that he was going to be holding the armor right there. Didn't have a Goro. But these first rounds, particularly, yo, is when the Kung Laos are, I feel like, more susceptible to be using their armor when they're, you know, trying to close out rounds aggressively, even though it put them at a meter disadvantage going in the next round. Is that going to combo? No! Not enough range. We still catch another ball, air ball roll, which puts in so much work for this young man. Also overhead, words, but this is out. Goes below this time around and gets the full combo for some sort of combo. Hold on. Three bars to work with is Shalitha, by the way. That spins one right now. It's going to be up with some 40%. Jesus. Oh, I'm going to watch again that's going to get to kill Shalitha. Hold on. That was another instance where, again, he did that to close out a round to put himself at a massive meter disadvantage going in the next round. And then does it again. Big start for Hourglass here. Who, even though young, plays like a methodical genius in these late game situations, having the resources when needs it most. Bam, right there, having the breaker. So they're trying to walk him down now to the corner. I like Hourglass waiting until he's been the bard before he actually activates that break. It should be the kill because, yeah, doesn't have to either the break and 950 health is just going to add up to it. One to one is now the score. Hourglass. Hourglass. Right way. 
I love how in this patch, they added the ability to see Gyrus's hourglasses, finally. Still haven't fought a Gyrus, by the way. And yet we Let's haven't see seen that. a Gyrus in Coliseum. Gur did compete in, the, in a few of the qualifiers, just never made it. Unfortunate. Love Gyrus. Don't. Uh, Dude, that if, you get, if you give Gyrus one buff, that's going to be one broke son of a bitch. Yeah, that's actually going to be a good time at all. It's probably going to be a great time. I must assume that didn't go well. Round one. You know what I want to see? Soraka get a flag move. No, you threw that flag way in the middle. It's in between round blocks. He's like, yeah, get that up. He's like, never again. <laughs> never again. Get it out. Never again. What a, what a piece of crap. It's not going to save me from Tarkat. Random ball roll. Not for the win right there. Hey, hey. He's got the audacity not to break, even though he, he did it with three bars. He just knows he got a big enough life, but now you got to break for sure. Plus. Situ now it's a situation. How plus is that? It's plus two. And how fast is Tam one? Seven frames. Fight. That's a problem. Five frames. Ooh, yes, ball slot. Eight, eight. Ah, three, eight, seven. That was almost active when I stood up. Oh, no. That's a bad one. I like that one over under. It's hit. Oh, and a mid check afterwards. You let the you're not blocking. That's a big issue. And the four four into low hand is going to do it. Our glass of rain going up two one right now. In the loser side to advance on. See if he could fight Bandinos. Unless Shaletta brings out the rain once more. Is it time up. to go to the dark side? That was messed up in the end. I, I couldn't tell. And because I don't know, could he have broken this towards the end? And like, look, he has a full bar of health here in this clip. This is how quickly he died. He's got three bars of meter here. Reset it. And could he have broken that forward four? Or because it hit either so fast or did it hit between the Lao hat that it was unbreakable because Lao hat's unbreakable? Like, I don't know. I thought Lao hat was breakable, so I'm just all kinds of confused. And those shots are kicking in. Welcome to the Coliseum. And the tacos are getting louder and louder in my ear. I'm so you hungry, man. It's dude, nuts, it's, dude. It's, 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 I am sorry. starving as well. Are you guys starving that are watching? You guys probably be eating while watching. Oh, yeah, Papa John's been, pizza, man. They should have been eating. Oh, Papa John's pizza actually sounds pretty good. That sweet, that sweet sauce. Oh my god, he got hit from back. I want to order a General Shao's chicken. Yo, Shao's chicken. Chinese restaurant don't sound bad at all either. Corn chicken? Oh. Yeah. Need some broccoli. Let me stop before I make the whole chat hungry. Oh. Fall is blocked just to get punished. That was his turn. Now. Hourglass is all over it. Oh, it just, just ball roll and just goes to the side switch as well. How oh, is he ready yeah. in recovery and any... It seems like this is a... Scary matchup in that you're giving him something to react to by doing something, and he has those reactions. Shaletta, what can I you do? That's the way it's That's it. Yo. And now we get the best stage Round theme in the game. Actually, the best music in the game. I'm sorry. Teleportion because what the Kung Lao was here to save my ass. Now Kung Lao's here to beat your ass. This is the day one of Hourglass of Rain that even though Lao has had, you know, multiple changes, the game plan is still there. Less often. I mean, there's a couple of less combos here and there. But aside from that, business as usual. With Lao Hat out, do something, it's going to come in behind you. Have a nice day. Thanks for shopping at, Thanks for shopping at Walmart. Oh, please do. Everything's on sale. But the street goes in the It's going to sell you immediately. Go for roll. But hey, Lau did a couple. Volcano. And he can go under because of the nice. That was Rolls, great. He gets a punish. This ain't good. This ain't good for Shalissa at all. You got to guess for game. He gets the back throw. The situation afterwards. 
Just to move. He needs one more read if he wants to live. He follows in Kano. He's out of some firepower right now. Goes for just a raw sweep. Hourglass could get, go for some kind of brutality. No, just goes for the low. Stand one into low. The quick mix that off of that one-two being overhead. Oh my goodness. Hourglass range going to take a three to one over Shaletta. Unfortunately, that means Shaletta, your weak number one champion, will be now out of the tournament, out of the bracket. Big shout outs to him. Had a great season. But Hourglass, weathering through that storm. And Hourglass looking again for another shot at the championship here in the Coliseum. And that will end Shuleta's run at fifth this season. GG's man, congratulations. We're jumping up to El Kakui versus Mighty Unjust. It's a battle of the twins. Holy crap. That's your top four. You know, it's funny it comes full circle, right? You know, it's top four being um, El Kakui and Mighty Unjust, but Oni and Our Oni's very young Hourglass Reign and Bandino's going against each other again. The Oni boys get another shot. Babe, no matter what, Oni gets in top three. So, hey, Oni Smoke, if he's still in the chat, that's nothing to be slouched at at all, bro. The players are still out here. And while I got you guys here, everyone that made this finale by winning a tournament, they earned their spot in the finale and they earned a Coliseum pin. And if you would like your own, we actually currently have this Coliseum pin. Oh, did this get us too? Let's go. We are putting it on sale. If you guys want your own, it's only $15 in our shop right now. Go to colo.gg slash shop. Rick, get the Coliseum pin graphics super quick before we get into this one. Oh yeah, see, see, this is this is that stuff where we where we challenge him. There she is. Look how sexy that look. If, if, if you want to support the Coliseum and look good doing it, go to Kalo.gg. Oh my right now. God, Aqua! Pin. It's only fifteen dollars, and guess the what? The thumbnail. The thumbnail is amazing. Take us there, Rick. Take us there, Rick. It's Soul Season, baby. Double Ermac. The twins are giving us a show. The thumbnail is here, bro. Look at this. Janet on Janet action as well with the Ermac. Oh, it's time. You guys are about to see. In a turn. Madness. And here it comes. He's got cancels quicker than rains. Similar in application. Crazy looking strings with massive range. Crazy throw animations. Float cancels. Big combos. Is there some big range? Oh, get the fourth, bro. And these mixes are going to come hella quick. You know, you know what's crazy, Aqua? His down for jail is uh, good enough that he gets a guaranteed uh, throw, uh, a throw mix up or a strike. This character is insane. It's a big punish. Only projectile being that low that you can do from a ground pound similar to his uh, ground pound in MKX. You know, full screen low, but a little on the slower side in this game. And that's the only projectile that he's got here. Other than that, Ermac is more of an up close mixed machine and a try to get you to press a button demon to backdash, catch a button with the range, and then go into the damage. Got the race damage, Janet. And this has been so far talked about as his best uh, pairing to be able to combo off of his armored option which is his push to be able to combo off of his throws janet doing good in this meta by the way he does he doesn't really scale with his throw by the way at all because it's legit just massive amount of damage it's you can get 25 for the throw oh that's a punish no way the boy right now showing off the stuff for her man like rain his cancels can lead to full combos. You go up into someone's face, you have a really quick mid and back two. That's overhead afterwards. Mid, think about it, quick mid overhead. Completely unique to Ermac. Cancel on block or hit to be safe, or if you forward dash cancel and it hits, you can full combo right there into a one-two like you see there. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. Janet Cage, the Pyramid. 
You, you ever have mashed potatoes and put the good gravy on it? That's the good gravy. Bro, I use, stop making me hungry, Aqua. I'm starving, man. Boston Market isn't open right now. I'm about to put the rest of this off stream so we can go eat. Yeah. Imagine. Follow on YouTube. Yes, yeah, see, yeah, see the rest later on YouTube. We'll do a local recording. Oh, he's oh no, he's gonna control up over here. Stand 2 is a high for that one, bro. It reaches mad far. Try to launch, I think we're just a straight. It's 4-4-3, four, four, yeah. Which it's a, it's a it's double a, high, but yeah. But it's a great string because it gives Ermac the ability to air cancel if it's blocked. Yeah. Bro, if someone do 4-4 four, four, into low ground pound, you're gonna hit, I'm sorry. Into the EX low pound? And just like oh. Quan Chi, given in an in, 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 uh, Given an EX low launching option off the specials, but it costs two bars a meter, there's a float. And that's a mid unjust. Strike back. And look how big that demon is. Round two. Fight. Love the animation that they gave this character. Oh, you have some sauce. And that stand yeah. two is just, it, it's almost like a mini push in and of itself, that stand two. Bro, luckily it's a high, but it's still like it's a, such a long reach of high. Bro. It's it's the range. You're not taking up. You know his. You know how big his uh his freaking range of his throw is. Biggest throw range in Mortal Kombat One. Ermac. It's He's Ermacular. In those macros. Oh, we caught him at the the low ground. I don't know what it, yeah. macros. Her macros. Protein. Carbohydrates. It's out in there. There's the break. <gasps> and there it Yo, is. Oh, and the no. T-Bag afterwards into fatal. That man unjust is me. He might have to watch his back tonight. I don't, I don't know if they're the same household anymore, but he might have to watch his back tonight after that one. He just hard to blockable his brother. And I learned just yesterday, I think it was from you and him, Ermac wins. that he just teabagged his older brother, yep. even though even though they're twins. Kokoi is older by one minute. Yes, they are twin brothers. If you guys do not know, I'm guarantee you after that teabag, Kokoi went downstairs to snap in the back of the head and come back upstairs. But yes, older by one minute is Kokoi. He watched his brother leave and said, I'm going to teabag you eventually, man. That early. And this is what you were fearful of. That straight forward for low pound. Bro, it's so it's so cheap, bro. It's like he heard me. And Big D's is rejoicing in the chat. Unbelievable. We are many as are we. That was the stupidest line. <laughs> we are many so are and we. so are we. Look at how much meter. God, just look at the meter gain he's getting when he does those hands. He built that much meter, so this does zero damage. Think about that on top of that. This man really just, if you guys do not know, just a little FYI for you guys. Um, if he has full meter and he activates that little soul thingy where he, uh, he doesn't lose health, he loses meter instead, he gets an extra 540 health. How much? 540. Yeah, that's definitely a throw up matter. So, bro, wait a minute. And gets a side switch. I think we tried to go for this cute little reset right there. Didn't have a lot of resources to go for the kill off. It would need, I think, two more quick resets. Goes for the snipe of the stand two right there, but there's a high, so he stayed low. And then I'm moving to the throw. Full combo is a toy. Does this spin the bar? But gets the overhead and just enhances it, and that should be the kill. Oh, Janet got the extra hit in for no reason there. That was messed up. Yeah. She wanted to just get an insult to injury. That's hit a, the man while he's down. That's a cheap shot. Brother, oh. and the T-Bag's right back at you. Yeah. It's not so funny, is it? Come, big bro. I mean, little bro. Yeah, little bro. Who's taller, though? They're the same height. 
Our twins are. Ah! <laughs> Our twins are ah! the same height. That's a excellent, that's a good question. If if my twin was taller than me, I would be so mad. And especially if it's by like oh. a couple inches too. I'm like, Rick, we're in we're in winner's time. Oh, oh, hey. The side switch? I didn't even know. And then you switch them back to the super side. Why did you even do the side switch? You know what I'm talking One, two, three. That's a whole other problem that Ermac has. Safe, confirmable, low shimmying, triple hitter. Safe, side switching, hit confirmable. Hard to block, blow right back at you. And I expected the bags. And it's not even needed. Blow. That's gonna kill. Sending the troops. Two one. Oh, fatal for El Kakui. Bro, why are you gonna take, take him? him to, he's gonna take him to the feast. You're making us more hungry. It all look good. Are you getting your fill, bro? I want a turkey. Huh? Huh? You gonna bag me? Fatality. Ermac wins. Yeah, bag that, my friend. He paid good money for that one. I'll see you next year. Yeah. When we gotta come back together as a family. This is a family battle, guys. These are twins that are duking it out, bagging each other, tagging each other, seasonal fatalitying each other. That's the real disrespect, is that they paid real money for that fatality to do on their brother. That's a thousand dragon crystals. That's a lot. Actually insane to think about. Teleport, teleport, teleport. And you know how what in a lot of other matchups we like to use the term meter building round? Every yep. round with this character is a meter building round. Ooh, Sonya. Sonya. If Sonya stocks are incredibly high, guys. They always have been, and I feel like she's the most underrated cameo in MK1. Definitely. So strong. Everyone's worried about a chameleon striker or whatnot, but this woman is a really good cancer for free. She's a mama for a reason. Mama Sonya. Mama Blade. Mama Blade. Fight. Oh, go to the little bit. Now, like you said, like, Ermac not having a such a zone and presence in this game being much rush down. So we can give him that zone and presence. Hey, hey. Get smack down. Ooh, the, the seasonal Where's fatalities the were, were actually 1,200 crystals. But that one, two, so quick. That's going to be such a good auto-shipper, too. Oh, that's the punish. Hello? That, that was the same move at the exact same time. That looks so weird. Over it! Nice. Oh, 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 Mr. Cancellator. And the duck on the throw, how did you know? Over it. Shimmies. Nice tech. And that's something that a lot of characters can do, guys, that uh, you're going to be seeing implemented from uh, El Kakui here, which is doing the one, two, three on block and just doing Janet. Hit her block. Block going to be safe. Hit going to lead to an awful lot of damage. A lot of characters can do that, where you'll maybe see some Janets get wasted, but the hit reward, so worth it. Is that punish? No. Definitely not. I couldn't tell if it hit or not because it had such a cool hit it or like block yeah, animation. Man, it definitely did have a good block animation. That looked cracking kind of wild. I was like, did that hit? Looks like he's being hit. Nine seconds. No hits either way. Is that gonna kill? It is. Because Janet's there. I think it was dead either way. There's a couple slams afterwards. Ermax twitching. It's getting scary on us. Yeah, he's getting he kind of wild right there. Not wild. <gasps> the float. Leviosa. Got it, Leviosa. What for you? The blocks? Hey, we'll get the That's what it was boy right now. Got another, got another uh -huh. Flecto, and there's the Stupefy. Hey, hey, hey. Hit up with the Caruccio first. 
Mmm. Got him with Zaboba from Injustice there. <laughs> that does look like Zaboba, actually. So he took the hit, yo, with a homie. Okay. Not oh, to be no. confused with uh, Sibulba from The Phantom Menace. Boat cancels. Oh, no. He's a decent amount of damage. No, he drops it. Does a good tip. So that requires some tight execution on that 1 2 3 uh, Janet. That's the overhead. Gets oh, a no, sniper to Sonya. He didn't believe. Oh, wait a minute. That could have been. Uh-huh, Jen afterwards, because Koi's going to take it 3-1 over his brother, Mighty Unjust. And Unjust was about to put himself in a great situation. It would have got himself out of the corner. and he would have been plus I've if never seen the Sonya fatal. ring. Whoa! Hey, yo! yo! I've never seen this fatal! That's the Imhotep suck right there. Oh my god. He rips you apart, takes your soul to be one of us? One of us. One of one us. One of us. One of us. One of us. He's about to oh. get his soul sucked. Bro, he legit got his soul sucked in front of him. That's crazy. No, I'll get away. No, he did not get away at all. Holy crap. That was insane. I purposely did not look at any of uh, Ermac's other fatals and um, brutalities because I want to get a live reaction. That was my first time seeing that fatal. That was actually insane. What the hell? Jesus. Koi will be in that um, winner's finals. Winner's grand finals. Winner's side of grand finals. And uh, Mighty Unjust will be in loser's finals waiting on the winner of Oni's Hourglass Rain and Oni's Bandinos to find out who it's going to be fated mighty unjust. We shall find out. Will the rain buffs propel this man to victory? Or Hourglass should have tried and true with that Melina? It was the switch to Lou when they fought earlier, and it was a game five. Mm -hmm. The Onis. Came, the Onis and the Twins. Let the it be known the twins. that if you have teammates, if you have people to consistently train with, that it may... And really, I don't feel like I'm trolling when I say it will give you a competitive advantage. It might just do it to you. Prove me wrong. <sighs> a little change in pace. As they as they both show up. <laughs> as, <laughs> it could happen to you. Uh. Oh, I, I think we're good. We'll see. Melina, Janet Cage. Kung Lao. Corrupted forest. Spare my life and I'll do penance. But I would rather watch you It looks like they're gonna let it rock. If they need to change host of the King of the Hill, just let us know. But it looks like we're going right into it, guys. Game number one here. This is top four of the Coliseum season number six. This is the finale. Eight weeks of tournaments have led to this. These eight players have won those respective tournaments. And we're in the top four of that bracket. This is loser semifinals. Hourglass of Rain versus Ben Dinos. Ben Dinos coming on deck. And this is going to be really interesting to see, like you said. He went to Luke Hang afterwards and had a change of pace. But he started off with the rain once again. Did you pick out some more sauce? We'll find out. 212. That rain, oh, I, I think that that rain Janet damage has to make him feel a little more confident here, and regardless of how he's feeling about the matchup. And he's been kind of tearing things up himself. Uh, won a couple weeks of like Champions of the Realms. He's done really well in, in the other big online tournaments, TNSs. With each other all the time, but I have CFs when they were happening. Yeah, I see that I can't face. Oh, the watching the feet gets the back throw. Wait a minute, man. You know, he has a big meter advantage. You can make this happen. You kind of hear him. Goes for overhead. He's trying to go for ball roll. He dies for it. I set up a safe jump 
and just like assumed that he was going to be respecting the frames after the deep jump in. That was a nightmare scenario. A really cool setup by Bandanos. That was the moment he like rolled off. He, he got hit by that ball roll. That's crazy. That's about to be over here. It's Jimmy. Come on, damn it, look at this. He thought it was playing. Jesus. Let's try to bait him out. Let's try to bait this man out. There it is. He knows. Comes back. Nice to sweep to be a plus. And get the board bro. Right there. That right there has paid bills for that young man. I'm your father. If however much money your son has made off of this game, I want you to know that 70% of it is because of forward four after that. After that. Four, four, such a good button. 471. 471 is good numbers. God damn. I've watched him delete like so many health points with that. Meanwhile, Bandinos just need to hit you twice with his team. If you got Janet back in time, that would have been it. Oh, just kidding. Oh, he said it. <laughs> it's a lot of crimson. <laughs> Never mind. Low side and gets a punish this time around. He says, No, sir, you're not going for my feet once more. He gets the flaws block on the roll. And guess what? Dino, that's the first blood. I think that he's yeah, just. Yeah, buddy, I agree. This shit is not okay. He's gained some more confidence as, as this tournament has progressed with this team, you know, Pink Wave. Rain being looked at as a completely different character in this patch. People are kind of scared. He flooded an entire city. You should be petrified. Melina, Janet kind of scared. I'm terrified. Petrified. Amara is banished from the Imperial Court. Do not hold my Yeah, that, that cancel is hitting much different. There is there are plus frames. And you see, Rain to me, the scariest Lawrence. thing at the moment is the backdash. The backdash can be baited so much as well. I you just saw he did uh, the backdash and then baited his man out the ball roll and was like, bro, what do I do? Bro, the character, I didn't even see it. And because of Janet, he gets a lot more off of that. It's bro. just a regular throw. It's a safe jump. And it gave time for Janet to come back. And look at the meter lead right now. And he's going to be gaining it. Like an Energizer Bunny dude just charging up. He just plugged in his Type C, and he's got full meter now. Overhead afterwards, wait a second. Actually, it gets that's gonna hurt. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. That our guy's not breaking because he just knows. You know what? You got it, bro. You got it, bro. Plus armor? No, he doesn't. Okay. You're poking this weight, not twice. Yeah, not twice. Uh, that, that was so smart from both of them because they are so uh, attuned with their characters. Where he knew that he needed to do a couple of things into Geyser in order to kill on ship, and there, not even on block, I think just caught him counter poking again, looking for a double poke for the chip out uh, scenario. They're playing some high level stuff, and that's another back three that just eats him alive. And here's the reward 40 safe jump. Gross. Oh god, this time around, let's go get full combo once again. Has to break his bed. I mean, I'm sorry, that was last frame. Actually breaks the 30 bubble. Come through the throw. No, you shall not pass. Throw him with the staff. Good block on the overhead. It's minus three. That's ball's block. I don't even know the move, bro. Confirm. Wait, a goddamn minute. This is what it is. Gets him this time. And he gets the combo. That's it. Into a fatal blow, Bandino. Jan is coming. That's absolute death. Two to zero for Bandinos. In a run back that he lost that he was down 1-0 with this character with and it switched to another character and almost brought it back with. It just goes right to belief in the home unit. And is up 2-0 right now to get some huge vengeance on the teammate to end the Cinderella story, what could be 
for Hourglass of Rain, who was so close last season, and Bandinos, who just crept in early on. Back in week number three, won the whole thing with Rain Sub, and has been sitting here, watching the weeks go by, waiting for his shot, and here he is taking it. You are hereby banished from practicing magic. When it matters most, you're on the loser's side. Can he win it here? It's 2 0. And he knows looking like he's going to take this 3 0 over Hourglass Rain, his teammate. However, he's still got a fighting chance. 2 0 isn't quite 3 0. And we have Johnny Square with it. Minus first at the word? I think minus, minus, three to, minus 3 to 6 on that. Somewhere, somewhere in there. I can believe minus six. If it's minus three, they made some care too much out. There's a punish. Oh no. Ooh, okay. We're gonna be we're gonna move into a backup feed, guys. Give us one second. It was one second indeed. Still hourglass in the corner pressure right now with plus frames and down pokes. Got it. Gets the cancels. And oh my god, Bandino's gonna get the firm this time around. It's gonna be looking right. a little choppy, guys, but just work with us. We Is this a backup producer. feed? Our producer backed out of the King of the Hill, but uh, Tento, do you think you can re reinvite him? Yeah, but I just, I legit just invited him. Thank you. And there's the old school mix from Howard Glass going into the low and having the Lao had to back it up to combo. Mmm, a piece de la resistance from him to stay alive. It <laughs> just started the round at poke range with throw, knowing that he was going to respect button mashing. He gets a setup for a portal off of that for no, 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 no. no. Portal no. substento. Come on. No. Yeah. Rex right, didn't want to see that combo. Didn't want to deal with the loud hit. Hmm. The bold oh, challenge right. of the loud hit right there. Just assuming that the bubble is going to absorb it, I guess. Oh, that's meterless. I guess a size switch nonetheless, but unfortunately not going to complete the combo. They're going to get combo for it instead. A, 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 A. The hat is set up. Good luck blocking this asshole. Whoa. Amazing how a switch of cameo back to Lao there. And one early hit of, of the good mix while having the Lao hat out. Set him on course. They put us at 2 1 here. The quality will re improve, guys. But thank you for not complaining about our backup feed here. The, the you know sound goes out, the quality goes down, but we do have some things, you know, just in case these King of the Hills do fall apart. I'm your father. A little less sweat on his forehead right now. What do you think? <laughs> just a tad bit less, you know. He's, he's, his son is still fighting for his life, but this man, Ben, you know, he doesn't make the adjustments, and we still know that Luke Kang is in the back pocket. Puts out a wall immediately. I wonder why. Oh, he wants to gain that meter. So let's go to teleport. Jesus. There's the money maker. I'm your father. Says I'm sweating big time right now, man. My heart's beating. Put a heart monitor on him. Oh my god, the sweet outraise it down one. Hello. And a beautiful challenge when he knew he was going to do for the front of Oh my goodness. Hourglass. Yeah, he's. He's catching some fire right now, his hourglass, and he's catching on to, to Bandino. Not necessarily that was a flawless. anything else. That's. That says it all. Respect your warrior skill. Oh, the low side. That punished that down three. <laughs> Jesus, the sweep. Can he gets the throw. Ah, 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 ah. Back to the rabbit hole, I go. Someone in chat, who I think is from Dubai, said the day that Rain received buffs, it was flooding here in Dubai and raining for days. Man. Coincidence? I think not. Coincidence? I may think not as well. Stand to pressure. Which is so good when, you're, when you've when you got to knock down Molina with three bars and you walk up and stand two with, with rain. Molina cannot wake up and break the armor in time. That's why he's doing that and just abusing it and jumps in with a jump two. And just one more kicking him around. The flawless blocks will do it. He's chipped 0.17 and a dash up down one. 
close out and put Banditos on the match point now as Hourglass of Rain run and rain here in the Coliseum, ending right now. Match point once again for uh, Bandino to see if he can actually close it out. Otherwise, our guys running might send us to another sudden death situation. These boys really want to fight. Bro, the winner just fights the Mighty Justin. That's actually crazy to even think about. Like, damn, after all that hard work, you got to fight Mighty Justin. Oh, wait, cool combo? Wait a minute. Is it going to be 500 again? Oh, no. Bro, six. Yeah, but that's 400 meterless, Kento. Yeah, it was. <gasps> Big one punishment. Had to break immediately. Safe. What the hell was safe? The safety of the cameo gets the back three, but they confirm it. And the big one punish once again. Hourglass ran this next setup. This could be it. He blocked correctly. He did. But gets the punish after the whip. Wait, no, no. Okay, overhead. Mm, give him one more Man. shot. And then took it from him with the overhead. And we are going to be going the distance again. It was 2 2 before. It'll be 2 2 again. And I think that we will not see the switch this time. I think that we're gonna see him stick it out with rain and believe here and being the water bender, the wet one. The abyss dweller, the flood bringer, the rainmaker. The rainmaker sounds kind of oldie. Or is it time for another rain? From Hourglass, 2-2, two, two. it's a team battle. Can I have two players very familiar with each other, two legends this season. Let's throw down and let's set it on fire, baby. It's another sudden death. It's a 2-2 two, two situation here in the Coliseum. Bandinos does make a switch this late to take away some of the Lao hat with the ice armor, but already scouting the teleport out of the portal. Is Hourglass, can't believe that he's already looking for that against Rain. Never see it, but Rain even utilized that. Let alone throw it. Try to get oh, die here. It catches the startup of a bubble. The reaction's already. Hourglass looking different. Try to catch him in some recovery. Yo, yo, in the overhead. He's simply too good. Look like he reacted to the overhead, too. Reacting to the overhead, realizing that down one's going to come afterwards. So he can just simply do a 4 1 to punish him. Catch him with a stagger again. That's just it. The chip chip, too. Actually, never mind. He was the optimization station. Fight. Holy crap. This just might be a reverse deal. It might be happening. It's away. Washes the feet with a down three. Cleaning the stilettos of the future queen, perhaps. And no, tries, tries to go for the throat. It says, I want the throne. I'll flood a city. I'll flood you next. Oh, wait, can say about all three. The poke afterwards. Catching the feet. But, you know, working so hard. Just trying to get that hit. Scar in the chat right now. Tento saying this is giving him flashbacks because Scar was in the winner's side of a week in the Coliseum that Hourglass won. And was in this position, was up on Hourglass. Hourglass brought it back from the Fervio Grave and another back three finds his mark. Benino's. Not having the Genesis to pick up is going to keep it. Pretty realist there. Goes back to zero, got hit. He gets four, so oh no, this is so bad. This is so bad. So Faro, no, he had to have to keep himself. That's a punish? No, he's supposed to go for his own. Good recognizing that he was too late for the punish. Four string, he thought the Only cancel layer was two, coming. Eight seconds left. I'm scared. That was supposed to be ball no. for sure. That's a four, yeah, four. That should be the way. At this point. The question is, can he save the meter? And yes, he can. Going into final game, final round. Final game, final round between these two to figure out who is going to take it right here, right now. Oh my God! Double nice with a hundred dollar contribution to the prize pool, putting us at one thousand nine hundred fifty-five dollars, almost to two thousand. Jesus! Shout out to double nice. Trying to cut again. That's what calls you here. This sounds like a shot to me, boys. No, uh, sounds like another wine shot to me for real. Ooh. Forty-five dollars away from two thousand. Who's gonna take us there? Who's gonna take us to the promised land? Oh, overhead. Okay, oh god, we got that conversion over the wall. Oh, the meter advantage. Did the gate? No. 
Did a little too early right there for the max hold of Lau. Interrupts the red too. Imagine him putting in an, uh, an EX up water right there. Goes through it with the ice armor. Gets rid of it. And this is huge for Hourglass. Has to get him off the bar now. Problem Wee! one done. Problem two, out of here. The meter's gone. Oh, problem three now. That's sub armor's up. 30 seconds left on the clock. Life lead in favor of Hourglass Rain. Bandino's trying to chase this man down. 20 seconds left, bro. What's going to happen here? You got to jump in and get an overhead or something, bro. Get the ice armor. Tell uh -huh. how it's going to roll Yo, the whip punish was got like, but he didn't confirm. Gets the throw. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no, 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 no way, right? No way, right? No way, right? No, he lands on the hat, and because he wasn't blocking, that's gonna cost him dearly off with the head. The sorcerer is gone. The mage cannot do no more. Molina's gonna take a bite. Damn, I'm just gonna match in. Holy that was, shit, that was so fast, bro. God damn, can we go do the best replays, motherfucker? Damn, give this man a ten first, bro. Shoot. A ten count, something. GG's, what a classic in a battle of both players from Team Oni. Thank you, Team Oni. For, uh, your players having a hell of a season OD. here. Bandino's Hourglass of Rain. Be on the lookout for them in the future, guys. Our, uh, sorry, Bandino's run will end at fourth place this season. Congratulations, man. Congratulations to Bandino's. Excellent stuff with the rain. Unfortunately, Hourglass of Rain is going to take it over that young man reverse through yo at that yeah glass did it call glass i mean i'm even joining in now joining so it's fourth place bandinos is going to be receiving 10 percent of the prize pool right now. So you're looking at almost $200 right there, Bandino, so far. Great stuff, man. The winner of the entire thing is gonna be getting 30% of that prize pool. That's $600 right now. It's looking juicy. Unjustice here. Hourglass is here. And it's crazy that this is on the loser side of things that this was winner's finals of season number five. And it's loser's Melina. finals Draco. in season number six. Kalina. Let the combat Dremor. begin. Two Sweet of our top three are the same. El Kakui trying to play spoiler. No player has won back-to-back -back seasons in the Coliseum. The Mighty Unjust is trying to here. All right, here Just we go. Loser finals action between Mighty Unjust and Hourglass of Rain is going to find out who is refighting Il Kikoi in the grand finals. And in this run back, Mighty Unjust took it game five, and I think he went Reiko in that fifth game to take it. I remember an EX uh, dagger hitting one of those air ball rolls in a sensational closeout from Unjust, and he do it again. Got got the block in time after she had the glow. Jay Glaive was not doing enough. Oh, sorry, Jay's glow. And O gets a low side mix up and an immediate fan toss. Oh, negate. Yo, knew he was going to try to answer that did after all roll. That was so good. Trying to grab this man is gonna be the big issue, and that's what Unjust actually has realized. He's like, you know what? You're not blocking, so so what? One, two is gonna do Meek, 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 and Tremor just to get the safe. Oh man, that's crazy. You will fall today. Round two. Fight. Hourglass is the only Titan that we've got left, guys, to stop a twin finale, which we've oh seen my everywhere. God. Whether it be the twins from Chile, the Greek twins in Europe. Yeah, we got twins in every area. You got twins in the US, twins in the UK, twins in Chile, twins, it's crazy. twins in Greece. Holy. 
Oh my. What an answer from Hourglass. The Flawless Clock's gonna save him, but. No man, I, I don't think so. Nah. I don't. I don't no, 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 there's, no, I don't believe. I don't believe. No way in hell. No way in hell. Yo, that's actually OD. He's so smart. That was so smart. He's dead. He's actually dead. That was so good from unjust to double dash. Knew he was going to do two for flinches into the command grab fatal. He's gone, bro. Oh, my God. That was so smart. I'm going to shut up because the mighty unjust is him. There's no more that can be said. He's fuck. He, he's him. He's him. That's the guy. Are you looking for the guy? I found him. There he is. That situation was so fucked too, just because like you have to guess between if they're gonna do a regular one or to uh, catch you jumping. Yep. Jesus. Only a real master Reiko comeback right there. <laughs> what truly made it real masterful is that he could have lost it three or four times. The rebellion is just beginning. Traitor! You'll be put to the sword! Oh, she knows there's people out there. Yeah, that's crazy. Round one. Fight. Gina. She knows that that outworld throne is never safe. Look at the history, man. Lockdown. Close. Doesn't want to deal with these daggers full screen. Bro, Just kidding. Action. They're reactable too. Nice tech. Oh no. So lucky. They give me so much worse. We double down one spray. And catch this man not block it. Bro, unjust man can meet into the one two just because he knows that boy is holding more. But that's when you gotta let those over here rock. Reiko is a very hard character to disrespectfully press buttons against because of his massive amount of frame advantage, both on block and hit. Bro, he's been reacting to every freaking star toss. Oh, knife down, folks. Full screen. Overhead, stupid. Do it again. Oh, stupid. nope, it was low. Another oh, tough to, bro. That's why you can't command grab this one. You gotta mid check him. Round two. One of the things about Reiko, though, is that unless he's going to go for the command grab, how scary is the overhead low to a point? Man, until it's taken, real block, too. Until it's taken, like, half of your life, you know, getting mixed multiple times. But it is the lesser of evils for, um, you know, a certain number of mixes in a row to just take the overhead or take the low and, or, like, you know, read the command grab. You know what's my favorite thing, Aqua? When some people are like, you know what? I'm going to unblock the overhead. Please unblock the overhead, Aqua. Please. Have you if ever you guys died don't before? Know why you shouldn't, please, because if you uplock this right and get a command grab, oh, just watch the health bar. Just do it. Oh my God, that's GG. Oh wait, never mind. He's got favor. Uh, Gentlemen with the lead now. His hourglass said, I, I'd be kind of scared throwing these daggers if I was unjust, seeing how many he's reacted to with the teleport. Yo, the mix, the mix, the mix. That was so good. Hourglass was like, answer back to score is now one on one. Hourglass is trying to play spoiler here. Doesn't want a, another twin finale. He's seen what happens, man. Although I, I do want, I do kind of want to see another Mac off. I mean, I'm, I mean, Ermac off. Mac off might, might mean something else. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to. I was trying to hold. <laughs> and then he puts out the frog, bro. Melina, Rayco, Camille, the return of the man. Of the return of the man. Your sister return and your of mother the man. have been captured. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the old, old Mac Daddy off. That's the one. The return of the man. It is. Round one. Come on. Oh my God. It's just a little girl found. There's no reason to know. I respect that. It's such a dominant. Hey. Mmm. No counter hit. No punish. 
That just hit him not blocking. That teleport. Not gonna matter. Just responds for 310. Goes for the low. Goes for the low again. And look at this healthy that he's sitting pretty with. And close enough for daggers to be unreactable to. Great spot to be. The one, two. Oh, the punish afterwards, too. Full string. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's a punish. Unfortunate. I'd love the injustice use of the crystalline armor. This is a cameo that I fear has become a little too one-dimensional of late. And maybe it could use some spiking up, but I could use some more exploration. Or just usage. It's Tremor. Please, uh, Tremor? Yeah, yeah only, only used for one or two things in most, you know, team compositions. Ooh. No one, everyone uses Aftershock and really crystalline, but no one uses uh, Metallic. Dude, and, and Metallic's got some sauce. Three stands plus frames. The, the lava shot is incredible. So again, pick up plus frames and a b b 443. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, damn it. I ran it back too. I don't think that was the right. Ooh, dash over down for it, bro. Gotta be careful with that was last. It's because he's been in that bar, so not his issue. The problem is, you don't have the ability to break anymore. He's trying to go for fly and wait. Not gonna get the kill because he has the armor up. That's why he's good. Mm, and armor not lasting long enough to really give him a mix up off of that. Just the safe, you know, risk. Mm. And a piece. Can't get any worse than this. And when they played last season, they were getting pretty close. When they fought in the in the finals, when they fought in the weeks. Cool combo from it. Mm -hmm. Hard knockdown. My plus frames doesn't care. Still very doable. And just he's been missing his ninja stars. He's going for back twos instead of the full screen. Definitely not the way. It's the bro. And late. I wonder if he's trying to bait him with a. Um, I think he's trying to actually. The back two is actually baits for him to see if he can teleport. I think that might be it. I think he's actually trying to bait this man. I thought he was going to command grab right there. Scary. I did too. Oh no, gets clipped. He thought the armor was going to be activated, but wait, he drops the combo. Blocks the overhead. I thought the command grab was coming, but he went for duck. Overhead once again. Chip is a big problem here. Sweep into EX. No, and that it's not gonna happen again. I refuse. I refuse. Yeah. I almost said something just to attempt to curse it again, but wow. Put him in another scenario where it was one mix up off of that jump in and he assumed that he was gonna panic. I think off of a of fatal blow threat here in the neutral jump. Let's take a look back here. Unjust. Almost giving us another classic here with one HP on the chip avoided. Knockdown. 50-50 right there. Even on the jump in, I think he's going to fatal blow or not as well with the grab. So empty jump, something could have been a mix-up. Jump in, and then something was also a mix-up. And that's why he kind of like waited out for just a little second. And then did his mid, trying to catch him in all that guessing. Let's keep our teeth to ourselves, shall we? But Hourglass will be on a match point here in Mighty Unjust, a character I haven't seen in a long time here, Tento. And a character we haven't seen yet in this finale. Kenshi. Kenshi. The man of the owl everyone says, you know, this character's got to be the best character in the game after Raiden got buffed. I mean, Raiden got nerfed, but apparently, um, yeah, nah. He's still not been around too much. Now, I will be honest. Hourglass of Rain actually says he doesn't mind this matchup. He actually feel like Mina does decently well against the character. That's because he's a robot. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'll just block out Sento every time. No big deal. And make reads. Yeah, not, not everyone does that, Ben. Everyone has a person to do that. Beautiful one, too. Hourglass oh, is dead. 
confirming in the live audience that his son is a cyborg. That, that he built him in the shed. That's crazy. Built your man's up. <laughs> Oh, he's oh, the face of the Even better. It took years. Years of the making. It was it nine months? It was like three years. It's using the DNA of Sonic Fox Ninja Killer. Foxy Grandpa. Everything combined. Dragon and Tekken Master. No, 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 no. Actually, no, no. He definitely confuses uh, just few Sonic and uh, Samish. You know, the Molinas. Oh, he's, he's, he's definitely 80% Samish. Yeah. We talked Samish Prime, MKX Samish here. They got Samish's mojo from, from Austin Powers in a jar. <laughs> they took my mojo and went back in time. That Dr. Evil. A block was beautiful and just. I'm nothing without my much. mojo. <laughs> nothing. Sento. Block. Stabby stab, 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 stab. Ugh. Come on, blades. Once again, the alley you can Sento, the blue guy, send this woman down. But Sento's out. You know what that means. A blind man with a sword is all that's going to be standing in the hourglass's way. And then the version was so good in this next setup, I don't think I'm just going to survive. I can see the range of just being in Sento stance giving Molina some trouble, but he hasn't gotten some range. He's being in the stance, and there we go. Activates the armor. Supposed to get immediately. One have to get a Sento out. Minus four. Bend it all on the sword right now. Plus. I guess me that's where it's the ice is up, clutch is up, Sento down, but wait a minute, once again, another alley -oop. look at the time, Aqua, 10 seconds left on the clock, I don't know what the decision is going to be, try to lock it down, and the goal is put up, no, my goodness, that could have been so much worth the outlast, actually picked up the control and then put it down, yeah, it was 6 seconds, on the drop on Mighty Unjust right there, definitely could have done it, shame, still match point, Hourglass, I'm just a big whiff. I cannot believe that was one of the few things Hourglass has lit happened in front of him. It's no punish. Ooh, you're standing too right there. And bad news with sweep out the words. And that's a string that you don't see Kenshi use a lot, but it's it's a really good string. The two and then the two one two one two that has some plus things in it. Definitely does. Wait, adjust being wise to the mix. He's no sir, you're not going with that low side once again. Has plenty of bar to work with. Hourglass could try to go for armor. It looks like he tried to go for teleport right there. Chip is a big problem at this point in time. It looks like we might be going to a game five unless. Point one HP and then he falls like that way! There's no way. I don't believe I don't believe a single bit, Tento. I'm good I I'm gonna purposefully try to not curse well yeah, anti un uncurse this. There's no way in there's no way that he wins this with point one HP. One bar for mighty unjust. Two hundred and sixty-nine HP. No Sento either. He just needs one poke, but the thing is, you gotta watch out for jump back in the ball roll. He went for raw ball roll. Man, hourglass of rain is unbelievable. Stand true to Melina Main at that. Gets the overhead finisher, and we have ourselves another Sun Death here and lose his finals. Who wants to fight your boy more? His brother or hourglass? Hourglass just can't avoid these game fives. It's his third. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Third game five. Fourth game five of the night. Whew. My goodness. Pressure makes diamonds. If I play, and there was a pure feel. Run that one back again, right? Oh. It looked like a pure feel of a, of a ball wall right here where he thought he was going to down four again, I think. Because that's what I was kind of looking for a read of. And I thought he was going to try to whip punish the first one. But you see here him swipe the ground with Kenshi's sword, the down four. And I think he was going for a whiff punish on him. Gonna do it again? Yeah. Let's get into this final match. And a sudden death between the mighty unjust and Hourglass of Rain. Two of the top three from the last season. One of them will make it back. First shot at the championship here in the Coliseum. Went for an up lock read. Was reading a spirit there. And was in range to maybe up lock Tinto into a ball roll punish. A big mind game being played at that particular range in this one. 
Who the bell one? And what's the throw? There's no way. I'm just on another level right now. Like three bars on his side. Oh, that. we will have a bar to break this. So you gotta wait. We're gonna block this next mix. Gets the overhead. Oh, no, this ain't looking good on at all. No one makes available. Good block in the overhead. Down pokes afterwards. Gets the punish. Wasn't well, tight enough to get to jail after the sento. I thought it was going to be a full combo, I was going to lose my mind. I'm just dancing away. That backdash of Kenji Kenji's just unreal. Bro, just the movement. Wait a second, you whipping too much. Not going to get cornered. The situation afterwards. The blocks. Get the throw? No, get off me. Fine. He was ready for it. Do with the time left with the overhead. He's going to give him the side and finish overhead. another one. But just wait. Wait. No way. It's going to hit. Yeah, no. Nah, that's not going to work. Hourglass of rain. So smart. Wasting so much time with the ball roll. Sonic X. Match point for the young gun again. The newcomer. The new blood. This is his first competitive game. Sorry. Second competitive game. He's say, from yeah, Guilty Gear. Just try. Definitely be playing that. He's from anime. I I've, been, I've been watching this ABA beat. The anime's taking over. Of course. With the Molina 2. Gets rid of Sento. Gorgeous down one. Plays the charge. Uh, Hourglass may plays Testament to ABA beat. Uh, oh, oh, and, uh, of course it's Testament. You know. I think we talked about that. No wonder that he played Molina now early on. Oh, Sento! Up. Go low with the delay. He's gonna break his hourglass. He wants to make sure he gets his kill right here, right now. But he can't be looking like that. How you? Oh no, he's hit by the side. He goes up, and that's gonna be a punish. No, you committed a little bit too much. And the overhead at the worst, yo. Final game, final round between these two. Who is going to take it? Fight. Only meter to hourglass's name. His first hit. <gasps> Big damage on the spear, but he had no belief in that. <laughs> Side switch for Hourglass is good. Be a difference maker. Nice up block. That's keeping it. Punish. Not really in this final game. All right, Summer's on. He's trying to scoot in. Sento in. Tried to absorb it for Sento, but it didn't work. And even full screen, Hourglass putting Sento to sleep perfectly. And Mighty Unjust recognizing that it's simply not worth it. Let me go back to this form where I can reactivate him at some point with the sub zero. Oh, he's missing his ball rolls, though. Oh, no. He's beginning to up blocks on these uh, the overhead. No, that's a missed input. That's so unfortunate. Unjust is going to get the bar to break it all. He's going to hold all this damage. This is so bad. This next situation is low hat. It's overhead. Blocks low side. There's no way. No, he gets hit, but it goes the other way. Chip is a big issue. Goes for 4-4, four, four, sets those back up. The overhead. Are you going to fail blow immediately? No, he misses it, and down one is going to seal the deal. The Mighty Unjust is going to fall to Hourglass of Rain. 3-2 to two after the sudden death. GG's all around, and we have our grand final set. Aqua, this has been insane. Oh, God. He, if he didn't drop that, that's what's got me... I'm sweating. Guys, ignore that invite. We are going to do a break before the, before this next match. Thirsty ass boy. Relax, bro. Damn. More for your brother real quick. Damn. Look at this. Gave much. him a second life there on the drop at the awkward pick up of the ball roll. And if that would have converted, he had resources to force a break at least and he had made that real master comeback happen once prior we believed but we will not officially guys with the mighty unjust losing we will officially through six seasons of mortal Kombat tournaments no one has been able to win two seasons in a row it's crazy the only person that could have today was the mighty unjust and he has fallen Olympus has fallen. Good movie, by the way. But yeah. And, and now it is El Kukui who is going to be staring at the barrel of Hourglass Rain going, man, I haven't fought this yet tonight. And, my, and took my brother to two game fives. It's going to be crazy. But guys, we're going to take one more break before we get in the grand finals of the season. The last match of the season.
And before we get into that break, I want to mention two really quick things to you. Uh, one of our sponsors here for this season has been with us for quite a few seasons, and it's, fr it's, it's from the community. It's community-based. It's Messiahs and Martyrs. It is a comic book made by a competitor in the Coliseum by a Mortal Kombat player. Check it out. Put the link in the chat. That's all we ask is that you guys go and check out their comic book. Made by a player. Awesome art. There you see some of it right there. You can hit that QR code as well. And we appreciate their support the last couple of seasons here. Awesome community-driven product right there. Just an awesome comic book. And I've recently taken ownership of TestYourMight.com, which is a uh, Mortal Kombat competitive forum that got me into the competitive community. I want to revive it a little bit. Um, if you guys want to talk with other people, learn characters, follow tournaments, um, modern era Mortal Kombat games, 3D era games, arcade era, there's a forum for everything there. Go check it out. There are some articles on Pro Comp, Coliseum, going on today, the patch, Ermac. If you want combos, even invasion uh, stuff is right there for you. All things Mortal Kombat. Uh, there's social media uh, things implemented the site too, where people are posting social updates um, and just talking Mortal Kombat. And it's off of, you know, the modern social media where it's going to get lost over time on some massive wall. Go check it out. Testermite.com. And we are going to be right back, guys, with the final match of the Coliseum season number six. Don't go anywhere. games with me i promise i'm too much hey I, I can never let up even if you had enough hey this ain't for the faint of heart we always playing rough i had enough it ain't luck i needed a vision i needed ambition i needed a mission to be the submission with no intermission i see the collision the crash of the distance they coming off track no now when they ask what's the motive don't talk about the show they all about to see what i mean in the moment i gotta keep going i'm shaking the dice and i'm keeping it rolling they already know ain't got no other plans you don't need to understand hey we all know the time you don't Let me relax. Stop assuming.
I'ma get it, you know I be on the way. Welcome back to the Coliseum, presented by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. Man on a mission, I'ma get it, you know I be on the way. Yeah, it's all hard, ain't no fear here. You ain't giving this to all you steer clear. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? The Coliseum season number six, the finale is here and we are at grand finals. One champion will be claimed tonight. After all of the eight players have been fighting out all throughout tonight, there can only be one. And that is going to be between Kakoi and our Glass of Rain. Yo, the bracket has been insane. Aqua, I just no worries. It's been I'm, my voice is just shot, bro. Let's I've been yelling. Two thousand dollars. We did it. We made it. We did it. $2,000 for season number six. One massive thank you to you guys for getting us there. Thank you, everyone. Over $2,000 to the players. Another $50 from the struggling black. Okay. Who says, who says drink, drink more water. This time, I'll do it. I got you, Bessie. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the $50 donation. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Before we get into grand finals, I just want to go over again. These players making the finale earned a sexy Coliseum pin that I have had made. I've been loving pins myself. Oh, I'm getting some light. There we go. Coliseum pin. You can have your own for only $15. Check it out. Colo.gg slash shop. You can order your own, support the Coliseum, and look damn good doing it. Look at that sexy thing. Man. Support Coliseum at Coliseum, or sorry, Colo.gg slash shop, as well as. We like to do this once a year, just for fun. We like to put out an annual jersey. So check out the official premiere of the Coliseum 2024 jersey. Go with the new color scheme, too, yellow and blue. Woo-hoo-hoo. Looks like Golden State out here. So if, you, if you'd also like to support the Coliseum and look good doing it, there's our annual jersey. A few people buy it a year that love supporting us. These tournaments go on multiple times a year, multiple series, eight weeks at a time, 10 weeks at a time. Thank you for supporting us here at the Coliseum, guys. And check out more at Coliseum, or sorry, Colo.gg slash shop for more apparel. If you want to support us here at the Coliseum, let's get in the grand finals of this season. $2,000 on the line right now winner getting 30 percent. that's gonna be 600 dollars that they're walking walking away with we don't keep a single dime of that tento nothing we didn't get nothing we get nothing it goes all to the players and we love you guys so much for helping out the players to get that big bang for their buck give you guys a good show and honestly just doing a damn good job while doing it guys this is grand finals between el kakoi and Hourglass of Rain. El Kakoi will be on the winner side. Hourglass of Rain will be on the loser side, which means Hourglass of Rain needs to win two sets. And Kakoi looks like he might bring out the Mac Man. Never mind, he's not. Is he Mac and early? Never mind. Uh, Cheers, Kenneth. Amelia, the great Yo, Kenneth. You know, we do, since, since it broke another hundred, let's do one more. Time. Yeah, I got the wine. One last shot. This is Grand Finals of the Coliseum, season number six. Let's kick it off right. It's going to be El Kakui looking to avenge his brother, Hourglass of Rain. Either way, we're going to have a brand new winner and champion of a season in the Coliseum, Tento. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's been a hell of a season. Uh, to MK1 turning around, we got a new patch that's gotten everyone a little excited. I'm excited. Let's enjoy it. Cheers. Cheers, homies. Ah. All right, Kakoi starting off early with the right go, beating the base hit, but Trimmer's going to say, wait a second, let's run that back one more time, please. Hey, mink, mink, mink. 386. Oh, my God. Avoiding the hit advantage gets the fourth throw. Why was El Kakoi ready for that? Or was he mashing a button that simply teched for him? The world may never know. Just like you and that owl the other day. You, know? yeah. you will never know. know. Never know at all. But I do know one thing. Hourglass Ring got a lot of work to do because this man is running Tremor. He has an extra hundred health. But that extra hundred health isn't going to matter in that case. The Katana fan. Going to take him out. Went around so quick. And look at the position that he's got too. Got him cornered. Has the Molina option available. And El Kakui got some lucky breathing room. A little stagger right there. A little stutter. Luckily the space was built. He's able to regain it. With an overhead. Maybe bait to teleport. 
I'm not gonna fall for that whatsoever. It's hourglass says, mm -mm, not today. I'm a robot, man. You have to give me something quicker to react to. Don't know size. They really starting to add up real quick. Oh, gets it down before it deactivates the glow. Should've walked forward, but man, it's kinda hard. Oh, Wait a minute, so open room. Looking like a U-Haul truck that's trying to pack him up. Nah. Isn't it crazy? Now this man, just like his twin. Bro, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He actually is. Ball walk firm at the word. There's no scaling this right here. Uh, 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 eat him up. Leaving no crumbs, as they say. What's four plus four? So before Hourglass just sniped this man to death with that roll, I was saying, how crazy that this man, like his twin, plays the same characters, plays them similarly, and how that could come into play here in Hourglass, having already played 10 games with Mighty Unjust in this tournament. It's as if you could have been preparing for this matchup. Because you see that El Kakui is already trying to do some stuff that Mighty Unjust was trying to do to, you know, bait out some teleports here and there. Oh, there's something. Oh, never mind. I lied. You rarely meet a Reiko that doesn't want to combo off their command grab. Name one. None from you, Empress. Check in thing with me. I was actually thinking for a second. You got me, you got me there. You got me in the first half. First meter advantage goes to the boy. Tries to go for the throw, but nothing afterwards. Gotta be careful doing down one, uh, down forward and losing stars. Beautiful up block though coming out of the boy. But messes up the combo. Does stand four and stand three, and that's gonna cost him dearly with a little bit of his life. Not too much though. Get the air ball roll that time around, but that's plus. Boy, that patient gets the tackle. Mink, mink, mink. Not gonna call a tremor. Don't make this next situation hurt. Still Peter senseless here. Was well, the glaive gonna try to follow it in? Doesn't get underneath the regular glaive in time. Unfortunate. And really, does he get to cancel the glaive? Had some, sorry, the teleport, but had some hit advantage there. Called out by the grab. The scoop. And welcome to the loop. It's got no breaker. That's death. No Kakui's on the board. And this is grand finals, guys. Final match of the night and of the season. This is for everything. Our scoreboard in a unique spot too in the bottom of, of, of here of, of the screen. I knew it was for a second. Well, it does say grand finals. Right under my boy El Kakui. Oh, beautiful teleport afterwards. Tries to go for Melina Ball Mix, but no, it doesn't get it. And unfortunately, does not get the back three into the knee. It's not going to work out in his favor. It's the wrong game. My fault. Hey, uh, 14 in the knockdown. Gets the throw. No, get off me. I'm right. You know, I took down Onaga. I'm a big problem out here, okay? I'm big boss. Catches one there. Oh, wait, another tackle. Meek, meek, meek. That's a knockdown. Give him an overhead. Oh, try to go for a scoop. And don't miss it. And that's going to be a big punish. A lot of damage also. Not going to spend fatal. But put this man in a bad position. He wants him to guess for game. Early he ball wakes roll, up the <laughs> ball roll. There's Fuck nothing the grosser game. that I've ever seen than seeing a Molina use another Molina to wake up with another ball roll. <laughs> That's a Stan's wet dream right there. One gave a piece. Hourglass is working on a reset right now, trying to take a 2 0 lead. And try to tell this man maybe pick another character. I don't know. It's been talked about a lot, even in the live audience, that, you know, this is a character that's given him a lot of trouble when he's fought in these... Fought in these? Have fought... Fought these twins before? I, I give, I'll give... I'm picking up what you're putting down. Mm -hmm. one. Yeah, one you, of them. You, you, you're grilling that one, okay? Oh, no, big mid check. Wait a second. Should've coming out with the boulder. Oh, wait, these ball rolls or reaction after the stars. Gonna save jump out for this. Down poke immediately coming out of court, but does not confirm the one, too.
gotta be careful right now. Back three will be a godlike button, but no, confirms the forward two, but misses the air combo. Just a down poke, conversion two. Oh my god, he's gonna convert up this big. Yo. Guess fatal for game? Fatal. No. He's gonna put on a different guess for game while Breaker's available. I thought he was gonna knock down, run up, and then 50 50 on fatal. And the knockdown off this is kind of weird. You can't get a dash up, but. Oh, wait, knockdown. Wait a minute, the glade. Oh, wait, the stars are adding up. The stars are adding up. Kakoi answering back after the fatal blow. Everyone in the live audience can relate to just eating multiple daggers in a row. Man, the stars And watching, up, and your health just disappears. It's three in a row. He had a home run. One. Two. Three. Try right trigger. One. Give a piece of the hour Could last. end this now. Your sister and your lover. And give us a little they cool st statistic, which would be Bring two twins it. winning back to back Bring seasons to of a game here in the Coliseum. That the might be a statistic in real. The Mighty Unjust won Season 5 of the Coliseum, guys, which was our first season for Mortal Kombat 1. We hosted four seasons in Mortal Kombat 11. Privilicious, Tweety, Turkey, and Sinister Ruler. Those champions. And the only champions here. And one of these players will join them. There can be only one! Only one can make it, but right now, the boy looks like he is the one. Meet, meet, meet once again. Even up that light bar. He could hit by the last star. That was actually kind of random. Oh, the dash up. Back that stay into 4 1. Under the ball roll. Knocked down, and he knew he was going to press something to get the confirm off the full screen. Another 4 4. Wait, wait, what? It wasn't active until. Wait, wait. That should Does have. 4 4 not count? Is it unparryable? Is it a. Uh... That was kind of odd. I don't know. I gotta laugh at that. Out of That's pissed. definitely a scenario where I want to think about. Out of this. Why is he so far open right there? It might have been missed time, but at the same time, I feel like it's actually enough. That. Mm. Where you going, Walt? So, okay, never mind. This man, the hourglass is definitely filling it. You ever just tell yourself they're not gonna block and do something about it? That's what the hourglass of Rangers did. Definitely. Oh wait, he's hit by the glade, but luckily he hit Chameleon, so it does not come back. But wait a minute, the stars are adding up overhead. Stupid. Do it again. I want to personally thank Netherrealm Don't for this patch that has spiced things up, and I appreciate everyone's patience for, you know, all the weeks that we skipped. This was a really long season because we had to skip a lot of Sundays because of pro comp, and then we skipped last week because of the server issues. But the server, you know, fixed in this patch, Plus, all the other juice we got with the balance changes really spiced up this weekend where we we, we, we did a back-to-back -back header. And uh, it's just been great, guys. Thanks for being here. This has been awesome. Oh, the Killy! Takes another one. Down four. And what was crazy about that combo that he just did, too, he actually got the bar just in time for that slide so we can extend it with that trimmer. So it's really nice stuff according to recognition. Anti's? No, he does not. Now, Floyd goes for the quick mix, and that's going to be a big combo for Hourglass. 29 into a mix-up. The throw. Ooh, the max damage throw because Million um, J was active. That's a strong woman. That's a strong woman indeed. Need one of those. If you're carrying around an 8 foot pole, you got to be. Don't make a comment on that, Tento. I, I actually nope. I was going to let it rock, but then you said that, and I'm not going to make a comment on it. What's about the 8 foot pole? You, you talking about do what with the 8 foot pole? You talking about Gears? Gears got an eight foot pole. Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. Strong three letter word. My apologies. Oh, the one thing that we haven't seen on the Coliseum is back shot gears combos. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to put that out there. You ever seen no back shots? And at risk of being sus to myself, I want to see them. I want to see the backshot combos. I want to see backshot combos. The BBC needs to be active, apparently. So, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Nobody clip any of this. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> to how that makes me, you know, you know, seem, but 
I got all the enemies. Flash them in the range. This is the overhead. Cooey. Oh, that's gonna be Three seconds it. remain. Go to the max. Dude, no way. Oh, no it. way. Oh, it's a goal. What? I've never seen something beat that just so cleanly. I have never he seen just, one jump he, with him. No one has ever just gone into it before. This this is the equivalent of a human being that knows that he's about to jump into a black hole and die because it's the survival rate zero percent and says, I still fucking believe anyway, and somehow made it back. He's Matthew fucking McConaughey in Interstellar. This is fucking insanity. That, no, that was the equivalent of someone going for a spike in volleyball, you denying them. That's exactly what that was. Bro, Kakoi really just answer back in the best way you we've never seen anything like this before every other situation loses to that ball he literally just said fuck it and press some buttons in the air holy shit unbelievable kakoi's on tournament point by the way i'm stunned i'm in i'm in hit advantage right now man El Kukui's making the most of this, too. Of the situation, of the moment. Made me feel himself a little too much. It happens to us, sometimes. Let's go with the block button and the overhead to cobble off of it! Here comes... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My God. 25 man, he's at the most. Okay, cancel. It's crazy. He pulls out the big firepower, man. I'm trying to work that down four, but man, he's abusing it. Overhead coming through. Overhead coming through. And checking with the mid afterwards. The breaker is on the side of the court. Now, the problem is, Fade of Loki can kill him. And now can really kill him. Overhead coming through once more. And down one is going to seal the deal. We pulled Hourglass to not Fight. fear that Fade of Loki whatsoever. And that ball will barely be spaced. Uncle Koi all over with the one, two. Back three into the side. Oh, wait a second. No. Look, the mid stars doing massive work right now. You gotta be careful with these. No, trying to go for a 4 1, but it's two stubbies. The ball roll is gonna do a good Matar knockdown, but a down four. It's a good button, bro. It's a good button, man. Whiff it. Walking back there by El Goku, he almost got him a couple whip punishes. Wasn't looking though. Because of those stand ones, right, that are outside of the range of you, you're worried about the follow up, which is the one two, because it advances so far forward on the overhead option. And that's why you might Man. be respecting it right there. Gotta get breaker just in time though. Now, will he dash up in the fatal blow? That would be a really good, like, ballsy move, wouldn't it? Daggers has done it before. Can I do it again? Fancy. That was absurd. And before the breaker comes, that was one of the few times that he zoned, 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 and then forward dashed and looked for something. Hey. Big jump. Wait a minute. Got to break that. Koi on the verge. He can actually take the tournament right now. He could take season six. He was your last qualifier. Two Coliseum champions in one household? No way. That would be insane, wouldn't it? Try to go for command grab, bro. That could have been a reversal command grab punish. I'm not gonna lie to you. Low into the side once oh. again. It's been hourglass putting out all the stunts. We oh, took all the side. Got all the Got a six piece McNugget. Whoa, that could have been so much worse than what it was. Good block. Never mind, it was not blocked at all. The situation afterwards. He woke up fatal. Did he press the button? Did he jump? No, he got hit. Ooh. That's it. That's it. it. This is the most no, damaging bit of all raw, isn't it? No, he's he's dead. Kakoi just took season six of the Coliseum with the wake up fatal blow. Who would have thought? Kakoi, three to one. That is disgusting fatal, by the way. Holy shit. As brutal as his run was, is how he caps it off. What a season for El Kakui. Your season six Coliseum champion. Just like his brother last season in season five.
congratulations. He's taking home the biggest chunk of that $2,005 pot. Yo, big shout outs, big ups to El Kukui. Good stuff to him, man. Great stuff overall. My goodness. I can't Hourglass believe- fall validly, man. I can't believe how many months of rent I've paid for that house <laughs> from the Coliseum alone. <laughs> Actually, when you think about it, you're not lying. You're not lying at all. I think about it, but wow. They're, they're, they're just so good. They're just so good. What oh, more can you do? An hourglass of rain, too, for being kind of, you know, the, the rival for the twins throughout both seasons of the Coliseum, El Kakui and uh, Might and Just both. Hourglass has been there back to back, second this season, third last season, bodes well for Hourglass moving forward um here in the coliseum and in competitive mortal Kombat. next week we're gonna see him at texas showdown there's a multitude of offline events happening guys this summer is so stacked and it's honestly so stacked that you know most people are like hey you're announcing another season when is next season i actually don't have another season right now to announce we are going to take a little bit of a breather and a break we have a lot of offline tournaments and stuff coming up in the next month and couple weeks and couple months um with you know combo breaker ceo final combat um evo dreamhack dallas all, oh my all, gosh all happening back to back to back to back to back dreamhack doubt you know dreamhack uh you know again again texas showdown again others in there and it's a good time to be a mortal Kombat player and uh we will be doing more coliseum 100 and uh we will be doing it with 100 cross play uh it's, it's going to be coming soon we just have to get have a little bit of a breather and set it up. Uh, it honestly caught us off guard, Tento. We didn't expect crossplay to come this quick, um, as I ima oh. imagined all of us didn't. It, well, we could say it's a success, uh, success, though, because we did, like you guys, if you guys did not know, we did make the last uh, qualifier crossplay um, enabled, and it was pretty well received all around. We had some new faces come in there also, and it was a great time. So expect the next Coliseum. We don't know the date yet, but it will have crossplay included. So we want the, all the Xbox boys, all the PC boys to come through and give us a show. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you guys, everyone in here for watching the Coliseum throughout, you know, the five, what 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 feels like years that we've been doing this. How many years have we been doing this? A long time. Yeah. Yo, Goonie, why did you give 20 subs to the chip? Holy. Yo, Drop a 20 Goonie. bomb. Thank you, Goonie. I respect your warrior skills. Appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who has watched on, you know, the multiple platforms that we stream on on the now multiple platforms that we compete on. Um, and uh, Goonie, I didn't see you in the bracket though. That's all I'm gonna say. E even, though, even though the man donated, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna defend the do, runner up tonight in the entire season, even though you're in all caps. I don't see all caps winning in tournament anymore, my friend. That's all I'm gonna say. Love you to death. But where's that Raiden at? That Raiden? Remember that um, freaking, what's it called? Um, Gorilla Grodd? Yeah, oh where's God. that Grodd at? That grod was crazy. Jesus. I do miss that grod. That grod was insane, man, that bro. That was sick, dude. And to, and to everyone that watches us in the future as well on YouTube, thank you for supporting and watching. We hope that you enjoyed this as well. We know it's different in the post experience versus the live experience, but you get the live audience and the live chat um, right there as well. And we hope that you guys join us live in the future. This has been the Coliseum Tento. I'm going to give you the floor to close us out this season um, as well. Any, any, any final words? Honestly, guys, you guys support for the Coliseum has been great. Nonetheless, every single time you guys show up, every time you blow us up the fucking water, we appreciate it. Season six has been a great showing. As we said, we're going to be taking a bit of a break. Aquaman is going to be going to Texas Showdown. I will be going to Level of Expo. We have, for some odd reason, you know, they do not want our powers combined at an offline um, category, but we're going to have that. We're going to fix that very soon. Don't worry about it at it's all. It's too powerful. But it's too powerful. But make sure you guys drink water. You guys stay blessed. Make sure you stay hydrated. Love those who are around you. Make sure you tell them you love them. Hug them. And we'll catch you guys next time. Much love. And you guys stay safe. Thank you for watching the Coliseum, everyone. We will see you for another season soon. Follow us for when that comes. Nothing to announce tonight. But soon, I promise, we're always cooking here. And uh, maybe not just MK1. M might go back in time for fun like we are known to do. Congratulations again to El Kakui. The twins strike again. Congrats, champ. And uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you to our sponsors this season. Check out the Coliseum shop. 
as well as Texture Mites, which is going to be my next big project in the downtime of the Coliseum. Rick, one more time, let's go to TextureMite.com. I've recently taken ownership of what is the biggest Mortal Kombat, one of the biggest Mortal Kombat forums in the world. Um, and this one, I've taken it over. It is primarily dedicated to competitors and learning the game and talking with others about learning the game. And this is where I got into the competitive community over 10 years ago. Um, was it 10, 11, 12, almost 12 years ago is when I got into this website. And when I first found out about tournaments, started competing. That's a long time ago, guys. Uh, so this is a very legacy site for our community. Um, and I hope that you guys join me. Go make an account and go start talking about your characters. Go start talking about the competitive community, about tournaments, make posts yourselves. Um, I'll be front paging everything that I think is super relevant to the competitive community, making front page posts myself. And I'm making huge changes to the website that are gonna be coming soon as well. So thank you to everyone. Go make, a, make an account there, testyourmite.com. Uh, that's what I'll be working on in the downtime. We'll see you soon. There's a bunch of offline tournaments. We hope to see you at one of them. Have a great night. We love you. Take care.